Hey guys, we just wanted to tell you about our new merch. What? We have new merch? Are you serious? Yeah, and it's so cuddly and adorable. Wait a minute. Do we have unicorns? <laughs> Daisy, of course we don't have unicorns. But we do have snugglers. What? They're adorable. Snugglers are your adorable, squeezy, cuddly friend. I want them, Molly. They're so cute. We also have backpacks and t-shirts. You guys can check it out by going to starsquad.shop. Now it's time to get to the video. Daisy, 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 Daisy. Molly, why are you yelling at me right now? Can't you see I'm looking at this adorable photo of pup, a puppy online? Yeah, I can see that, but we gotta go to the ice cream store. Molly, it's 7 o'clock in the morning. Why are you even out of bed this early? I have a craving for chocolate ice cream, and it must be fulfilled. Oh, boy, Molly. <sighs> okay, well, I can't say that I wouldn't like to have ice cream for breakfast, too. Yeah, exactly. Ice cream for breakfast? Delicious. Don't forget your mask, Molly. The virus is still going around. We need it. Ugh. I'm just, like, so sick of it. It's 2022. Is it not over yet? Molly, there's some clean masks in the washing machine, Mom said. Okay. Okay, my mask is on. I'm ready to go get ice cream. Oh, yeah. Well, are you ready, Daisy? Yeah, I accessorized my mask. Whoa, that's pretty fancy. <laughs> I mean, if you have to wear a mask, you might as well make it cute, right? Yeah, you didn't put much effort into making yours cute. <laughs> Not really. All I can think about is ice cream, though. I don't really care about making my mask pretty. I just want chocolate ice cream. Yes, the ice cream store is open. Perfect. Uh, excuse me, you need to leave? Wait, what? Why? Because, didn't you see? You now have to wear a gas mask. You can't just wear those masks. Wait, what? I didn't get the memo that we needed a gas mask. Where am I supposed to get one of those from? Okay, fine. You don't have to wear a gas mask, but you have to keep your mask on the entire time. Yeah, no problem. Um, I would like a scoop of chocolate ice cream, please. And I would like the bubble gum. Or maybe the vanilla. Or maybe the birthday cake. I can't make up my mind. Okay, one scoop of chocolate. Here you go. Thank you. How am I supposed to eat this chocolate ice cream through my mask? Wait, I have to take my mask off so I can eat my chocolate ice cream. Uh, no, I told you already. No one needs to get the virus from you. But, but, okay, I guess I'll just have to try to lick it through the mask. This is going to be gross and weird. I sort of can taste it. Ew, Molly, you're getting chocolate all over your mask. Oh, yeah? Well, you're getting your ice cream all over your mask, too. 2022 is just ugh, so quay, quay Yeah, I know. Ugh, I'm not feeling like eating ice cream anymore. It's kind of sad. I just want to eat ice cream like a normal human being again. I want the virus to go away forever. Yeah, me too. Well, let's go to the grocery store. Mom gave me a list of things she needs. Okay, well. Thanks for ruining our ice cream. Hey, it's not my fault. I'm just following the rules. Oh, Molly, don't bother yelling at anybody. It's not worth it. I guess I'll just buy a tub of ice cream from the grocery store, and I'll just eat it when I'm at home. That's what pretty much everybody's doing. Um, basically, you just have to stay home. Why does the grocery store look closed? Um, Molly, I just read a sign on the door that said, Nobody wants to work. Everybody needs a vacation from the virus, so they can't get anybody to work at the grocery store. What? Are you serious? Yeah, I'm totally serious. But... But they have chocolate chunk ice cream, and I need to eat it. Well, I'm sorry to say, Molly, we can't get anything from the grocery store. Ah! 2022 is really starting to make me mad. How am I ever going to live without my snacks and my treats? <laughs> Molly, there's no need to cry over Doritos. Is it for you to say? You don't even like Doritos. You're not human. I like Doritos, but I prefer apples. Like I said, not even human. You know what, Daisy? It would be easier in a different time. What are you talking about, Molly? Before the virus. Before there were all these illnesses 
and yuck, I'm just so tired of the masks and the no grocery store being open and, and trying to eat ice cream with this thing on my face. Well, Molly, it's funny you should say that because I just so happen to have something in my secret science lab. Wait, you have a secret science lab? Oh, man, now the secret's out. What was I thinking? <laughs> Daisy, you're hilarious. Well, anyway, I have been developing a time machine. Say what? Yep, and I'm pretty sure it's going to work. Pretty sure? I don't know if we want to take that chance. I mean, pretty sure isn't definite. I know, Molly, but the thing is, is we won't know till we try it. We could go back in time before this virus hit. That sounds like a brilliant idea. Yes. Take me to your science lab. Well, we have to go through my closet in the bedroom. Really? That's where you hide your secret science lab? Yep. Let's go. Welcome to my science lab. Holy guacamole, this is pretty amazing. According to my calculations, if I just program the time machine this way, it should take us back about, well, 20 years. Oh, <laughs> sounds fun. Let's do it. Okay, Molly. Um, let me just push the button and away we should go. Oh my gosh. Should I be nervous right now? No, I'm an expert scientist. I got this. Whoa, Daisy! I feel kind of weird! Daisy, what is this place? Um, Molly, don't freak out, but, um... I accidentally hit two extra zeros, and we bet back 200 million years. Wait, what? Daisy! Um, according to my calculations, there's going to be quite a lot of dinosaurs here. But, no virus. <laughs> so I guess it's a win. Daisy, dinos, th 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 they'll eat us! Um, Molly, what's that sound? It's a, it's a dinosaur! Run! Oh, the dinosaur is chasing me! Daisy, what's that flying in the sky? Oh my god, it's a flying dinosaur! Ah! Daisy, did you program it? Yeah, Molly, uh, it should be working any second. Hurry, hurry! Okay, Molly! Ah, here we go! Oh, man, my experiment didn't work. Yeah, <laughs> you could say that again. I just can't believe it. What did I do wrong? Nah, you're fine, Daisy. I mean, you just got to work on it some more and maybe use somebody else as your test dummy because I don't want to be chased by a dinosaur ever again. Yeah, me evil. Oh, Daisy, and that was crazy. And I'd also call that, well, a failed time machine. Don't even mention it, Molly. Oh, I can't believe it. I worked so hard on this and it didn't. Well, it, it sort of worked. No, it didn't, Molly. Yes, it did. You just put in too many zeros. It probably would have worked. Yeah, that's true. I didn't think about it like that. It was sort of just user error. Not necessarily that the time machine didn't work. Actually, let's try it again. No, no, and uh, no. I'm going to go to the park and try to relax. 2022 doesn't seem so bad when you've had a T-Rex chasing you. Well, we have to wear our masks. Gladly. Molly, I still think if you just let me try it again, I could take us back just 20 years. Uh, no, no, and no. I am not taking a chance of being eaten by a dinosaur. 2022 doesn't seem that bad when you compare it to how life on this planet used to be. <laughs> Unless you're a dinosaur, of course. Well, they didn't make out too good either. They were all extinct. Oh, yeah, true that. <laughs> okay, let's go to the park because, seriously, anything's got to be better than that T-Rex. His breath was horrible. Woohoo! The park! It looks so fun. Excuse me, please read the sign. Oh, why is this fire truck here? Is there a fire? No, we're closed for cleaning. We don't want anyone to catch the virus. Wait, what? You're cleaning the park? Yes, and it's going to take, um, well, hopefully only about 30 minutes. Then you can play at the park. Okay, well, 30 minutes, that's not too long, Daisy. I don't know, we could ride our bikes or something. Uh, no, I didn't bring my bike, and neither did you. And I don't feel like going all the way home for it. We'll just wait here. Okay. 
Marty, what are you doing? I'm about to take a nap, duh. What's it look like I'm doing? Okay, well, I guess that's a good thing to do if you have 30 minutes. Well, there's nothing else to do while they clean. Is she seriously vacuuming the grass right now? Excuse me! Get out of the way! I need to vacuum this grass up! Okay, this is just ridiculous. Vacuuming the grass? Uh, no, I'm gonna lay here. Molly, don't be a pain! Seriously, get up, please. I need to vacuum the grass! Wow, bossy, bossy. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Molly, it's already been 40 minutes. Is she gonna be done soon? Tell me about it. My arm's starting to hurt holding up this sign. Uh-huh, sure. Okay, yep, I'll be right there. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me! Six feet of distance between us, please. Okay, sorry. <laughs> what can I help you with? Can we play in the park now? Sorry, there's a dirty tissue at the south side park that I have to clean up first, and then I'll be back to clean up this park. Oh, man. Well, Molly, it's getting dark. Doesn't look like we're going to actually play at the park today. Ugh! 2022 is really starting to make me mad! <laughs> I can't take it anymore. I can't hold that sign up anymore. Are you okay? Are you okay? Six feet of distance. But do you need assistance? Yes, but from six feet away. I have some water. Do you want it? No, we can't share a water. Wow. Yeah, I'm starting to think the T-Rexes don't look so bad. I thought you said 2022 was better. Now I can't decide. I think they're about as equal. True, Molly. True. Oh, Daisy. Thank you so much for coming and helping me clean my floors and my house. After my knee surgery, I just can't seem to keep up on it all. Oh, don't worry, Mrs. Gunderson. I would be happy to water your plants, too. Oh, you're such a nice person. Oh, thank you. Community service is just part of who I am. I like helping people. I can see that. I don't have any money to pay you, dear. It's okay, Mrs. Gunderson. I'm not doing this for money. Oh, oh, what a dear you are. I, I have to go lay down and rest my knee now. Don't worry, I'll just make sure that I get everything cleaned up, put a pot roast in the oven, and lock up when I'm done. Oh, Daisy, I don't know what I would do without you. Rest well, Mrs. Gunderson. I'll see you in two weeks. Sounds good, Daisy. Sounds good. Okay, now where does Mrs. Gunderson keep her crock pot? That's what I need to make the um pot roast for her. Holy guacamole! Who are you? Hi, I'm a baby angel. A baby angel? Oh my gosh! What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be up in the heavens or in the clouds or something? Well, I was, but I got word that you have been an amazing human being, Daisy. So I've come to grant you one wish. Really? Any wish that I can think of? Absolutely. I'd love to grant you a wish for being such a good person. Okay, baby angel. I know exactly what I'd like to wish for. Okay, what is it? And I'll make it come true. All the money in the world? How about being the most beautiful woman ever? No, 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 no. Mrs. Gunderson is so lonely, and I can't be here every single day with her between school and homework and my own life. And she always mentions how much she loved her pet dog when she was my age. I'd like to give her a companion. A pet dog? Really? You're going to give your wish away to somebody else? Wow. Now I see why I was sent to you, Daisy. You really are an amazing person. Maybe you'll be an angel, too. Whoa, really? Maybe someday. And your wish is my command. Oh my, look at you, little doggy. Aren't you the cutest little thing? I can't believe it. Where did you come from? <coughs> oh, Mrs. Gunderson, the puppy was a present for me. Oh, Daisy, that's so nice of you. I think I'll name you Coco. You look so much like the hot chocolate I love to drink every afternoon. Come on, Coco. I'm so happy. 
I'm not going to be alone anymore, Coco. <coughs> what about you, baby angel? Are you alone? Actually, I am. What? Seriously? Yeah, I haven't found the right parents for me to adopt me yet, so I'm all alone. You can come live with me until um they find you good angel parents. Really? I can? Absolutely! My house is pretty nice. I mean, maybe an angel's house is fancy. -o. No, um, I think your house would be perfect. Thanks, Daisy. You're totally welcome, baby angel. Come on, we'll go there now. Now, baby angel, don't pay any attention to my sister. She'll annoy you. Well, if she's anything like you, I'm sure she's very nice. Marley, I want you to meet somebody. Cat, busy watching Brookhaven 911. Marley, come on! This is gonna be a house guest for a while. Who's gonna be our house guest? Wah! It's got wings! Is it part bird? No, it's a baby angel. A baby angel? Is that what you just said? Marley, clean the potatoes out of your ears. It's a baby angel. Oh, wow. Hi! I am Molly! Uh, she knows how to speak human, Molly. You don't have to talk to her like she's dumb. Oh, hi! I am Molly! Uh, yeah, I heard you the first time. Whoa! She does speak our language. Of course she does, Molly. Ay, ay, ay. Now, I'm gonna go make some dinner. Try to stay out of trouble, Molly. Leave Baby Angel alone! No promises. Hey, Baby Angel, you ever watch TV before? No, not really. Come on, I'll show you how to be a couch potato. First, we need some snacks. But didn't Daisy just say she was making us dinner? I'm sure it's really healthy. Healthy schmelthy. Mmm, this donut's good. How's that cookie? Mmm, I have to admit, it is pretty delicious. The chocolate chip chunks are, ooh, so good. Yeah, exactly. So Daisy can eat that healthy stuff for dinner. But you and I, we can eat this delicious treat. Yeah, I don't see what's so wrong with that. Exactly. And now I'm getting a sugar rush. <laughs> boing, 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 boing. Hey, does anybody want this delicious turkey I just made? Uh, no thank you, Daisy. Why, don't angels eat food? Oh no, they eat food. She's just not hungry right now. Okay, well, I guess I'll go in the kitchen and eat it myself. <laughs> Come on, baby angel. You must be full of energy. Jump on the couch. I don't know if we're supposed to. Isn't that the furniture? <laughs> Wee! That's what makes it so fun! Wee! This is fun! <laughs> <laughs> now, the next thing we're supposed to do is homework. <whistles> Come here, Hershey Kiss! Come here! This is our family dog, Hershey Kiss. Oh, he's adorable! Yeah, and he's great at eating my homework! Wait, what? Yeah, it's a perfect excuse to tell your teacher when you don't want to do your homework. And I even usually take video of it, so she knows I'm being honest. But that's not honest at all. I can't help it that my dog likes homework. Am I going to deny Hershey Kiss the delicious taste of my homework just because my teacher selfishly wants me to do it? Well, you do have a point, Molly. Ruff, 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 ruff. See? <laughs> Hershey Kiss is just begging for the homework. Come here, Hershey Kiss. <laughs> Molly, this seems really wrong. Uh-huh, exactly. Good job, Hershey Kiss. Okay, you can go outside. Baby Angel! Ah! Baby Angel! What happened to your beautiful angel wings? Oh, wow, they do look different. They look like a demon! Oh, <laughs> baby angel. Congratulations after following me around. Molly, what did you do to my baby angel? I feel like being very naughty. <laughs> um, I, uh... Molly, this was definitely your influence. Me? No, it wasn't me. I, I swear it. It was you. Oh, my gosh. She was so innocent and wonderful that she followed you around for 15 minutes. I just stole all this money from Brookhaven Bank. Baby Angel, please come back. You don't want to be a demon like my sister. Hey, I don't see any horns or demon wings on me. 
You should have that, Molly. You should. I like being a demon. <laughs> uh oh. This is gonna end badly. Molly! <laughs> Whoopsie. Hey guys, what's up? I'm so excited because today we are gonna be adopting baby dragons. Where Molly will gonna attempt to adopt a baby dragon. And also a bunch of our fans are in here. Oh my gosh, please be my friend. I'm a big fan. Hey everybody. Okay, I'm gonna say hi to everybody really quick. Just cause like we love our fans. Hi everyone. If you guys see us in a game, you can come up and say hi to us. Don't be shy. We love our fans. Aw, of course I'll be your friend. <laughs> Everyone is friends together. All right, Daisy, we gotta go in. Come on. Come on, we only have like five seconds. Let's go. Who is ready for a dangerous baby dragon egg rescue mission? I am. I love danger. Whoa, me too. We love baby dragon eggs. Okay, he says safety first. You must first pass my safety tests. Oh boy, I stink with tests. Hey, wait, that girl's riding on his nose? <laughs> That's awesome, Lexi Doodle. All right, let's do it. Okay, let's get ready. Safety test, get up and jump on my wings. Boing, boing, boing. Oh gosh, don't let me fall off. <laughs> I'm doing it. So am I, Molly. We did the first safety test. Get ready for another safety test. Sit on me. Safety cell. Oh, boy. I need a seat. I need a seat. You're okay, Molly. You got a seat just in time. Very impressive. All of our Star Squad fans are in here, and they're asking us to friend them right now. Someone, please jump on my tail. I'm jumping on your tail. That's better, Molly. I actually had the, an itch on the left side of my tail. Not really a safety test, but thank you anyway. You're welcome, safety cell. Here comes Flamey. What's up, safety cell? Everyone, get ready. Get ready for what? Oh, boy. We're going to have to jump over there, aren't we? Everyone, sit on Flamey. Oh, my gosh. This seems kind of dangerous. Oh, how is this a safety test? Uh-oh. Oh, just in time! Wow! Here comes Splashy! Don't tell me I have to jump all the way over there and get on Splashy. Hey, Sal. What y'all up to? Everyone! Get ready! Get ready for what? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I... These tests are stressing me out! What, am I in school or something? Or am I rescuing my baby dragon? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make it. Ah! I need a seat! Huh, huh, huh. Molly, chill out. Okay, then. Final test. Get ready. Pick your favorite dragon and sit. I'm staying here. Because <laughs> that seems safe. Molly, are you sure? Yep. He said pick your favorite one. Okay, anyone sitting on me? Safety cell passes the test. Just kidding. Everyone passes the safety test. Congratulations. Huh. <sighs> Oh, you scared me, Safety Cell! This is a terrible dragon named Mama Crusha! She steals baby dragon eggs and hides them in her three temples. Whoa, sounds evil. She has an easy temple, a hard temple, and an impossible temple. I can do the impossible temple. I recommend trying the easy temple. It's the safest way to go. I recommend the hard temple if you're brave enough. I think we should just go home. What? No, we have to save them. Let's vote. Easy, hard, or impossible? Or go home! I vote easy. Um, people are voting impossible. Why? I don't know. They're cray cray. Oh, good. Easy temple wins. It's really the safest way. Now let's land. Ooh, landing on a dragon. Pretty exciting. This is Mama Crush's easy temple! See that baby dragon egg? Mama Crush stole it! OMG! What an evil woman! Well, dragon, you mean, Daisy? Yeah, dragon! Mama Crush is probably nearby, so be quick and quiet. 
Catch the baby dragon egg, and the rescue mission begins now. Get the baby dragon egg. Get the baby dragon egg. Get the baby dragon egg. Um, my, I'm kind of stuck behind you. Watch out! Why'd you eat so many cupcakes today? I'm stuck too, Molly. Okay, there we go. Um, guys? I think Mama Crusha is actually sending out giant balls of fire. Oh, no! Lexi Doodle just died! Oh, MG, I'm a little afraid. Oh, MG. Oh. I'm running as fast as I can. Oh, Yui got it! Cat Speed 2022 rescued the baby dragon egg. Jump for joy, everyone! Wow, you're amazing. I barely got past those mm, um, dragon fireballs. Ma, 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 Wow, these dragons even sing. I mean, very badly, but they do. Who steal my treasure? Mom, Mama, it's Mama Crusher! Run! Come back to us dragons and hurry! Ah! Oh my gosh, I'm, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Please, please, please. Oh my gosh, where's my sister? I'm coming, Mom! I'm trying anyway. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, it looks like I'm gonna make it for a change. <laughs> Who would have saw that coming? Oh yeah! Molly, I made it too! I know you didn't, Daisy. You have to sit down. Oh no, I don't know if Daisy actually made it. I did, Molly, I did! Yes! That was way too close. Let's get out of here. Oh, you can say that again. Hey, take us to where there's a land of cupcakes. Look! There was an extra baby dragon egg. So everyone gets one. OMG! My baby dragon wants to eat a cupcake. Eat a cupcake. Good thing Mama Crusha is too lazy to chase us. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Flamey, shh! Who was that behind us? Ah! It's Mama Crusha! Who got me? Lazy? Uh oh. Mama Crusha can blow fire rings! They are very dangerous. Our dragon magic can protect you. You must sit on the correct dragon. How do I know which one is the correct one? Yellow, sit on Safety Sal. Red, sit on Flamey. Blue, sit on Splashy. Um, this sounds very difficult. Okay, so far I'm okay. Daisy? Uh-oh, I'm in trouble. Daisy, hurry. I'm trying, Molly, I'm trying. Oh, I made it just in time, seriously. Okay, what's next? I don't see a ring. <gasps> Blue ring! Blue ring! Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. I don't want to die, I don't want to die. Ah, I die! It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I came back to life. These dragons are magical. Molly, you just died! Uh-oh. You know what part of the game this is, right, guys? It's where I spend 25 Robux so I can come back to life and you guys can see a video and not be bored. Because you don't want to watch me die. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh my god, we're back to blue again? Hang on a second! I just paid you 25 Robux. Doesn't that mean I got a jail free? No, Molly, that's not what it means. Oh, good. I made it on to blue. Molly, every time we play one of these games, you spend all of your Robux. Yeah, that's totally the truth. You so fast. I so tired. <laughs> Yeah, and you don't have 25 Robux, and I did. Back to temple. Need nap. Oh. I know. I need a nap. You need a nap, and I need a cupcake. Maybe it's the other way around. No, it's definitely that I need a cupcake. Give me one! <laughs> we did it! Let's hit. Let's land at Hot Springs! Yeah, let's do that. Let's hatch our babies. I want a beautiful baby girl dragon. Well, I want a boy dragon. You made it! Molly, now welcome to the Hot Springs! Wow, cool! What do we do here? I love to splash here! I love to sit in the hot water! But most importantly, you can hatch your baby dragon egg here and get your first baby dragon! But you need to find the extra hot water! Extra hot water! Hmm, where could that be? All the way at the top, of course! The bubbling water near the top is Extra hot! Enter this extra hot bubbling water to hatch your baby dragon egg! Oh, piece of cake! You mean like an obby, right? You need extra hot water to hatch your baby dragon egg! No kidding! Yes, I know. I know. Towards the top. Let's go, let's go. 
I want to hatch this baby today. Hmm, how do we get up there? Okay, they're going this way. Oh, I get it! Okay, I think you have to go this way, Daisy. No, 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 Marley, this way. No, 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 you have to go this way, watch. You jump onto Flamey, like this. Then you jump onto Safety Sal. Then, um, uh, uh, I think you go through here. Oh no, this is the wrong, I think this might be the wrong way. No, I, I'm so confused right now. I love that I have a dragon egg on my head though. That's pretty epic. I thought I was supposed to go this way, but now I'm not so sure. Hmm, maybe I have to go over here. No, wait, can I climb up that vine? No. Ugh, can't get up to the top! Wait, if I jump on her head, maybe I can. Hold still, safety Sal! I don't think you can climb up those. Daisy, did you hatch your egg already without me? Okay, Daisy has decided to leave me behind. Wait, wait, wait. Marley, come on, I'm waiting for you, let's go. I thought you left, Daisy. Oh man, these only, di these disappear. Oh, 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 yes, I made it, okay. No, Marley, I didn't disappear, I was just waiting for you. Oh my gosh, this obby is getting crazier and crazier. No, I don't want to go back to the beginning. Ah! Molly, oh boy, this is going to take Molly a hot minute. Yeah, it is going to take me a minute. Ugh, four hours later. I just want to get to the top and hatch my little baby. You have to be so careful because if you're not, you go all the way back to the beginning. And that is very frustrating. So patience is the key when you're going to hatch your baby dragon. Okay, there's a lot of people in here. Come on, Molly, you can do it. I'm the last one. <laughs> Molly, you did it, yes! Yay! Are we almost there now? I think this is it, Molly. I think this is it. Wait, no, that's not it. You still have to keep going. Ugh. Wait, is this the hot water? No, my egg won't hatch. You got this, Molly. You got it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No! Please don't let me fall at the bottom. Please. Please. Molly, look. We're almost there. Daisy, are you hatching your baby? Yep, Molly. I think I am. What? Something crazy is happening with my egg. It's hatching, Molly. No, it's not. It's not even hatching. You lied to me, Daisy. Sorry. You have to take this elevator up, 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 and then you get to hatch your baby. Ugh! How many more steps do I have to take? 40 minutes later. This video is going to be four hours long, guys. <laughs> you think I'm joking? No, I'm not. You have to wait till the exact moment. And then finally... You get to hatch your baby egg. But only after you've passed all these trials. <laughs> do, 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 do. Molly, my baby. Um, my baby is about to hatch. Really? Daisy! Oh my gosh, your baby dragon's adorable! Why isn't mine hatching? Hatch! I got fed. I got nothing. My baby egg just wants to stay in this forever. Get out of your egg! You lazy. Oh my gosh, it's finally hatching! OMG! What did I get, what did I get, what did I get? I got, oh my gosh, baby Ruby? Oh, I got a girl and she's perfect! Honey, this was the best game ever. Guys, if you think our baby dragons are adorable, slam that like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Baby Ruby would love to have you as one of our fans. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye! OMG! I can't believe I have detention again! Oh, man. Detention? Molly, take your usual seat. 
Um, you know you're a regular in detention when your teacher writes your name and a message on the board. Ay, ay, ay. Hey, Molly. Thanks again for making me have to sit after school with you in detention. Sorry, Mrs. Smith. Uh-huh. So sorry that you don't do your homework. Oh, boy. This is going to be the worst detention ever. I can see it already. It's the worst detention for you because you don't do what you're told. And you end up here over and over and over. You know, I have a life. I actually had a date tonight at Brookhaven Diner and I had to cancel. I haven't had a date in six months because I sit in detention with you all the time. Uh, sorry? Please go to the board and erase the message and then write, I will do my homework a million times. Oh, a million? Holy guacamole. I will do my homework. Period. Again, Molly. I, I don't want to. You have to do what you're told, Molly. I will do my worst. <laughs> Molly, do I need to give you another detention? You tell me, Mrs. Smith. Do you want to miss another date night? Ugh! Molly! Take your seat and please be quiet. Okay. <laughs> this won't be so bad. It's only two hours. Do, 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 do. Molly, quiet! Okay. <laughs> Molly, you're dismissed from detention. Molly, did you fall asleep? Huh? What? Huh? Try not to keep me in here for another detention this week. I do have a life, you know. <laughs> freedom, freedom, f -f -f freedom. Oh, I can't wait to go home and eat a cupcake. Molly, there you are. Daisy, what's going on? You know how I have that secret, well, not so secret science lab? Yeah, what about it? I, I, I created a time machine. Holy guacamole, you did? Wow, you're definitely going to win the science fair. I didn't do it for the science fair. I created a weather machine for that. Well, anyway, what were you going to tell me? Uh, it's it's so bad, Molly. I don't even know if I can say it. Just say it. Spit it out. I need a cupcake. Molly, I went to the future. And yours is dark. Your f future is dim. It's, it's, it's. It's what? It's bad, Molly. It's so bad. Can't be that bad. Yes, Molly, follow me to the lab, and, and I'll show you what it saved on my computer. It recorded the future. Whoa, that sounds pretty fancy. Yeah, you can watch the whole thing like a movie. A sad movie. A pathetic movie! Wow, you're making my life sound, well, really horrible. Molly, just come with me. Whoa, Daisy, your science lab has seriously gotten an upgrade. Look at those! Those are the dual rays that send you back in time. <laughs> Wait, what, do I turn into a squirrel? No, 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 Molly. That's just my screen -saver. Oh, well, um, when's the movie going to start playing? Any minute, Molly. Scanning for viruses. Um, well, I don't think my future is going to be that bad. Look what I saw, Molly. Look what I saw! I don't want to stay at your crummy motel anyway. Just because I didn't pay you for two weeks, I mean, doesn't mean you get to kick somebody out. Rude! I have no place to live. Ugh, my stomach is growling. Hmm, I wonder if I have any money. No! Aww. I'm hungry, I have no place to live. I kind of remember my teacher saying that if I didn't do my homework and pay attention, I was going to end up in this boat. But she's a liar! Ooh. I wonder if there's any leftovers at the motel. Hey, don't judge. I'm hungry. This dumpster has as good a food as any refrigerator. Ooh, leftover burrito. Mm, it doesn't even taste older than a week. Mm, that's pretty good. You know, I'm getting pretty sick of eating out of dumpsters and staying in these crummy motels. Mm, I need to do something to change this. Ha 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 ha. I just got a wonderful, wonderful idea. I could rob Brookhaven Bank. <laughs> it's two o'clock in the morning. 
That means no one's going to be working at the bank. <laughs> Wait a minute. Why is somebody working at the bank? Hello, we just changed our hours to 24. <laughs> 24-7, you can come in and start a bank account. Except for it doesn't even look like you have any money. Wait, what? Are you judging me right now just because I'm wearing these clothes? These are very fashionable. They're also half missing. <laughs> Before you start a bank account, you may want to upgrade your outfit. And what's that smell? Uh, I had a dumpster burrito for lunch. Ooh, yuck. No, don't judge. They're pretty good. And they're free. Um, yeah, so um, I am not here to start a bank account. What are you here to do? We don't let people sleep in the bank. What are you doing with that fire extinguisher? I am robbing the bank. Now, give me all the money. Oh, don't hit me with that fire extinguisher. No, you're going to ruin all the computers. Can I pay you in a, dur a Doritos or, or, or in a burritos or a taco? Are you nervous right now? Yeah, I've never been robbed before. Well, you're in luck. I've never robbed someone before or bank before or anything before, but I'm sick of staying in crummy hotels and eating out of dumpsters, so give me all the money. Okay, H here you go. Okay, give it to me. All right. I just don't want to lose my job. What? $27? Yeah, we don't carry cash overnight. Ah! I just robbed this bank for $27? I can't even buy a new pair of shoes. And as you can see, I'm not even wearing shoes. Um, I, I should have told you before. No shirt, no shoes, no service. Do I look like I care about rules? Wait, what's that? Did you call the cops? Yeah, it's protocol. Ah! Why did you do that? Wait, is that door locked? Yeah, also protocol. You're basically going to jail. Wait, no! Oh, here, you can have the $27 back. I don't really want it. Yeah, no, no, no. You wanted the $27. You need to stick with it. <laughs> Good luck in prison, criminal. Well, I guess at least I'll have um, three meals a day and a place to sleep. Yeah, and you'll be there forever! Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody knows. Hey, keep it quiet in there. I'm trying to eat my donut. Oh my gosh, I haven't eaten a donut in so long. Can I please have that? <laughs> Criminals don't get donuts. Give me it. Give me that donut! <laughs> I opened the door. Ah, close that door before she gets out! Who are you talking to? Oh yeah, I'm the only one here. Well, I closed the door and I ate the donut. <laughs> you do the crime, you do the time. Oh yeah, well, uh... <laughs> <laughs> you think that I can smell that, but I can't. You didn't punish me. Oh man, I'm stuck in here with stinking doo-doos! Ew! Oh, these old bones aren't what they used to be. Molly, um, I have great news for you. Oh, what is it, Sheriff? <laughs> I really need to take my nap. You've been in here for 60 years for robbing the bank, and today you're finally getting out. You can have your freedom. Oh, really? Is this some sort of trick? No, and try to be a good person. I will try. Uh, no promises. Oh my gosh, freedom. This is amazing. I don't know what to do with myself. I'm so excited. Goodbye, cruel police station. Look at Brookhaven. It looks so different. I don't even think I need this walker anymore. I feel so footloose and fancy free. Oh, oh, my heart. Oh, oh. Oh. oh my gosh, did that prisoner just die? Molly? Molly? Well, oh well, I guess she paid the price. <laughs> I guess I could do some CPR. Nope, not working. She's dead. Holy guacamole! Daisy! I, 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 I spend my entire life in prison for $27 and then I die in the street afterwards? Molly, I told you your future was dim. You need to change your ways, Molly. Oh, oh this is what's going to happen. Holy guacamole. Oh, man. Mm. Molly, what are you doing? There's no food allowed in my science lab. Sorry. I just eat when I'm stressed out, and this burrito tastes delicious. Molly! Sorry, 
We're sticking up the whole place with the smell of taco. It's a burrito, not a taco. Whatever, it smells like guacamole, gross. Sorry, <laughs> I really am just freaking out. Well, Molly, you can change your future at any time. And I can go and check on it if you like. You know, once you've changed your evil ways. Really? How? Well, I can, um, go into the future again. Oh, wow. That sounds crazy. Yeah, but you need to do something about not doing your homework, not listening. You know, basically being bad. I am. I'll never be bad again. Not ever! Um, but I can't promise not eating burritos. Mm. That's so good. Molly, get out of my lab! Welcome to your first night shift at the toy shop. It's your job as a security guard to make sure no one robs the place. If you hear any noises, go check it out. Also, make sure to keep the power off as it can cause, well, um, uh, problems. Have a nice day. I think this is going to be pretty easy. Well, Molly, whoa, why are you so tall? <laughs> I guess I had a growth spurt or something. Like guacamole, you'd like a giant. <laughs> I can't believe we got a job as um, security guards at a toy shop. This is so cool. Yeah, but look at that guy over there. He's really creepy. Mr. Funny Dunny, Dummy, I can talk. Well, he is a little creepy. I'd much rather have a teddy bear. Too bad. I'm getting you a Mr. Funny Dummy. <laughs> That's what you're getting for Valentine's Day. You better not. Molly, seriously. Sorry, I was a little distracted. You're so tall. Yeah, get over it. You're short. I'm I'm tall, and you're not. Oh, rude. All right, let's go into the staff only um section because I'm sure there's treats in there. Molly, they don't give you treats. It's pretty dark in here. I can use my flashlight if you want. That's a great idea. This place is a little creepy. Um, so, uh, I don't see any of the treats. Molly, just because you've got a job here doesn't mean they're going to give you treats. Oh, that seems kind of, like, rude. There, I turned on the power. Now it won't be so creepy. And maybe we can find the cupcakes. Molly... When they give you a job somewhere, they don't give you snacks. Well, what do they expect from me then? They're going to give you money for working here. Wait, what, 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 what was that? It sounded like it came from the shop floor. I don't know. We probably should go check it out. Maybe they're dropping off the cupcakes. Wait. Where, 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 where did Mr. Funny Dummy go? What are you talking about? He's right there. <gasps> that giant dummy is gone. I know, Molly. It, it's sort of creeping me out a little bit. Oh, I'm sure somebody just moved it. Probably as a prank. I don't know, Molly. That guy was really weird. Hey, look. We can go up here. Daisy, come on. Let's, let's go up here. Molly, we can't reach. We're not tall enough. Well, somebody stand here, and I'll jump on their head. Okay. Ah. Okay, that didn't work. Okay, Daisy. Um, we can't go up there. No kidding, Molly. Oh, wow. If you go through here... Ow! It hurts! Be careful, Molly. Be careful. It's sort of like an abbey. Whoa. This job got way more serious all of a sudden. Where is my cupcakes? Oh, boy, Molly. You really don't get it, do you? You can buy your own cupcakes with the money they pay you. Yeah, that's probably true. Pull lever. Molly, that dummy is going to show up here. I just know it. Molly, hurry! That level made platforms! And if you don't, you don't jump on them, you die! Well, I made it. <laughs> Which is surprising, because usually when I play games like this, all I do is spend all of my Robux. Funny game one? I don't know if I, I think this game is funny at all. What happened to the lights? I, I hear something in the distance. I don't know, Molly, but I think there's only one way out, so we probably should go look. Um, I'm going this way with my sister. <laughs> you guys can go that way. Molly, do you think Mr. Funny is in the shadows? Daisy, why are you so paranoid about Mr. Funny? Because this was called Mr. Funny's Toy Shop. Oh, yeah, this probably does have something to do with that giant creepy toy dummy. Absolutely, Molly. This is like a maze. You can never get out of it. 
I'm gonna get out of it. I'm smarter than Mr. <laughs> Funny. Ah! Ah! That creeped me out! Holy guacamole! That was terrifying! I wasn't expecting that! Oh my god! Ah, that gave me a heart attack! <laughs> Molly! Did Mr. Funny get you? Yeah, it wasn't funny at all! It was terrifying! I was like, who's that behind me? And when I turned around, it was Mr. Fun. <laughs> ah! There he is again! Okay, this is creeping me out. <laughs> okay, I can tell already I'm not going to get past game one. Maybe if I just keep running super fast. <laughs> I don't think I can yell. Ah! There he is again! <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh my god. I keep screaming because it just creeps me out. Okay, guys, if this game creeped you out, let me know in the comment section below. Maybe if I don't turn on my flashlight, he won't get me. Maybe he's attracted to the light. Oh my god! Oh my god, I can run faster than him, right? Ah! Mr. Funny, stop it. We can be friends. I mean it, we can be friends. <laughs> he moves. So creepy! OMG! Why you following me, Mr. Funny? Oh, <laughs> I can't even talk right now. Oh my god, I just made it to the exit. Daisy! Molly! Close the door! Oh my gosh, did Mr. Funny get you a bunch of times? Yeah! <laughs> I literally almost had a heart attack. It was so scary. Guys, if you don't like jump scares, this is not the game for you. Okay, I'm gonna go over here. I don't know where it goes, but... Oopsie! Not that way. Okay, let's see if we go up here. Oh, that looks like a way out, but we can't get over there. And then up here, and then here. Come on, Molly, you can do this! And then up here, yes! Oh, thank goodness, Molly. I thought I was going to lose you to Mr. Funny forever. He is not funny. There is nothing funny about Mr. Funny. Agreed! Ah! Oh, man! Daisy, I just, I just died in the most horrible way! I see that, Molly. Definitely don't go down there. Oh, no, I'm going to do it again. Oh, I got smushed by the rollers. Mr. Funny's toy shop is not funny. It's terrifying, actually. Oh, God. No. Molly, you didn't even make it to Funny Game 2. I, I don't think I want to. I think, I think, no. I'm thinking no. Whoa. Yes, I finally made it. Nope, just kidding. I died. <laughs> Molly. <laughs> Seriously, you stink. Yeah, a little bit. I think it's because I'm just like, I got really frazzled when I saw Mr. Funny or whatever his name is. Because he is creepy times a million. I couldn't agree more, Molly. He is pretty creepy. Oh, you finally made it. Um, Daisy, does this look like red light, green light to you? It does, Molly. It does. This is the game of red light, green light? Yeah, Molly. So when he's not looking, run! Perfect. Oh, Daisy, you got eliminated. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if I want to get to the other side. He's so creepy. <laughs> Take that, Mr. Funny. <laughs> ah! He got me again! Ah! <laughs> His face is so creepy. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I need a cupcake. <laughs> Is Daisy back? I don't, I don't know if that's Daisy over there. I'm not moving. I'm not moving till that head turns all the way around. Great. Ah! Why do you keep getting me, Mr. Funny? Molly, everything's gonna be okay. Just try your best. Would you like to buy a ninja star? I think I really would. I'm going to stop way ahead of time, so that way, like right now, so that way I don't get killed, because I don't know about you, but I cannot see Mr. Funny's face again. Whoa. He's going to give me nightmares, Mr. Funny. Perfect. Ah! Don't get me. Oh, oh, that was a close one. Molly, I'm over here. Oh, Daisy. Oh, I'm so glad to see you made it. Yeah. I was really, really scared when Mr. Funny's face was, like, right up in mine. Holy guacamole. Ha ha! Can we move now? Yeah, Molly, he can't get you. 
Um, Mr. Funny, you are creepy. I can't even talk when I say that. It's gonna be okay, Marley. I never knew you to be so afraid of a game before. Well, this one's no ordinary game. Okay, I think if we go over here, and then, Molly, this way. I could help you if you want. Um, like this, and then. Totally did it! Okay, press for the elevator. Here we go, Marley! Do you think Mr. Funny's gonna be up here? Absolutely. Okay, I'm just gonna hide inside this box then forever. Molly, I still see you. Um, oh, sorry. I'm hiding forever. Molly, I still see your other arm. That box isn't big enough for you. Oh, Mr. Funny's game number three. Oh, looks like a survival game. I'll have to avoid the giant robot by climbing on those blocks. Giant robot? What are they talking about? I don't see a giant robot. Um, Molly, just be careful. Get to a safe place in nine seconds. Okay, I have to say that this is a really inventive game. It's also scaring me to death, so... Okay, this is as high as I can... Oh my god! It's a Mr. Funny Robot! Uh-oh, am I up high enough? I hope so. Oh boy, he's knocking everything over. Oh no, this is gonna be bad, Daisy. This is gonna be bad. He is evil! Mr. Robot! Ah! Oh my gosh! He just took my head off! Okay, I've got to get somewhere where he's not going to break down the blocks. I think Daisy already made it through. She's so lucky. I'm the only one that's left here with that creeping. Oh my god, I only have one second and he's coming out here. Oh boy. Oh boy, I'm dying. I'm not going to die. I'm not going to die. I'm not going to die. That's what I needed to say to myself. Hey, Mr. Funny. This isn't funny. Oh man, I need to survive for 29 more seconds? Just, just leave me alone. You don't have to do this! You don't have to be this mean! Oh my god. Ah, we gotta run fast. Oh, Mr. Funny's closing in. Uh-oh, he ran me over. <laughs> Oopsie. Oh. Okay, it's saying I have to wait. I could buy a jetpack. That might be worth my money, actually. Just so I can escape Mr. Funny. If you guys haven't played this game yet, I highly recommend it. It is um, creepy, but very fun. Oh my god, no, don't let me fall! Oh! When I said it was really fun, it's also a little frustrating because when Mr. Funny tries to kill you, um, he succeeds. <laughs> Maybe he won't know I'm over here. Yeah, that's a good plan. I'll hide on Mr. Funny. Uh -huh. da -da 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 -da. He doesn't know where I am. Ha 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 ha, Mr. Funny. Do you think it's funny that I, I'm i hiding from you? <laughs> okay, at least he can't squish me over here. Oh my god, I only have to make it 50 more seconds. 12, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, I died at the last second. Are you serious right now? All right, one last attempt, guys. I think I can actually do it this time. I'm hoping. All right, I'm gonna go over here. Um, I'm actually just gonna hide. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hide from Mr. Funny. See, there's Mr. Funny. And he knows exactly where I am, but I don't know how. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God! I'm gonna die! Why me? Why me? Where is he? Oh, there's a lot of people in here right now. So they're just like trying to escape Mr. Funny too. Oh my God, it's not funny. It's not funny anymore, Mr. Funny. You're not funny. You're not funny even a little. Okay, now they're going over that way. Oh, please, please don't catch up with me. There's the exit. OMG, I might actually exit. You survived. <laughs> Marley, finally. Are you ready for the next part? Ah, why'd you push me, Daisy? Sorry! Ah! Huh, huh. Is this the exit? Please let it be the exit. Please. No way of knowing, Marley. But there's only one way to find out. It looks like... A really dark warehouse? 
This would be a good time to use my flashlight. Oh no, we're still not out of here. Molly, um, I think we're going to be stuck. Forever, there's Mr. Funny! Ah! <laughs> for school and I actually did my homework so I want credit for it you know <laughs> where's my math book where's my math book oh I can't find my math book okay um maybe I left it in the chair no where was I studying last night think Molly think oh wait I had to go to the bathroom maybe it's in the toilet math book are you down there <laughs> just kidding although sometimes I'd like to um flush all of my school books down the toilet no it's not on the desk wait what's that on the table I think it's my math book Yup, it, it sure is. I'm just gonna pick it up, put it in my backpack, and away I go. Molly, hurry up! The bus is here! Coming! Good morning, everyone! It's good to see you here. Especially you, Molly. You're actually on time. <laughs> yeah, and I did my homework. Can you believe it? Oh my gosh! What'd you do with Molly? Who are you? <laughs> Guys, today, mathlete tryouts are happening. I know all you mathletes would be amazing at that. Yeah, uh, more work and homework. Uh, I don't know about that. Hey, Molly. <laughs> it's good to see you. Uh, uh, I sat next to you. Oh, <laughs> um, yeah, I see you sat next to me. S sitting in that chair is, is nice. Oh, really? Why? Um, uh... Uh, is it because I, I'm sitting next to you? No, 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 that's not why. <laughs> it's because you're sitting under the heat duct, and so you stay nice and toasty. Oh, <laughs> I see. Okay, class, please take out your math books. We're going to go over lesson number three. Math book, math book, math book. Wait, here it is. O-M-G. I accidentally brought my diary. Talks all about my crush in it. Okay, I'll just put it back in my backpack and tell the teacher I forgot my math book. Did Molly just say that she brought her diary to school? <laughs> I bet there's some awesome secrets in there she doesn't want anyone to know. And that's exactly why I have to read it. <laughs> when her back's turned, I'll steal it right from her backpack. Mrs. Stevens, I forgot my math book. I'm sorry, I... I, I brought the wrong book with me, but I did my homework. It's okay, Molly. Do I have to have detention? No, you don't have to have detention. Really? I finally managed to not get detention. I'm super proud of myself right now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Molly has a crush on Luke? <laughs> this is perfect. Dear Luke, meet me in the auditorium after school. Love, Molly. <laughs> Dear Molly, meet me in the auditorium after school. Love, Luke. Perfect. <laughs> I'm going to prank her so good. <laughs> hey, Molly, you could share math books with me if you want. Really? Wow. Uh, Thanks, Luke. No problem. Okay, class. You guys can head off to English. I don't want you to be late. Yeah, that would be a tragedy. <laughs> Are you even paying attention? Hello? <sighs> Is she sleeping? Huh? What? Huh? Wake up. Huh? What? What'd I miss? Pretty much all of English class. Here, Luke wanted me to give you this letter. Really? Yeah, he said it's pretty urgent. Okay, thanks. No problem. Don't say I never did anything for you. Wow, a letter from Luke? I wonder what it says. Dear Molly, please meet me in the auditorium after school. Love, Luke. O-M-G. I think he's going to ask me to the school dance. Best day of my life. Okay, everyone. Class is dismissed. Wow, it's the end of the day. <laughs> Guess I need to meet Luke in the auditorium. Oh, my God, there's Luke. I'm kind of nervous. He makes me feel, like, really shy because I really have a crush on him. Hey, Molly. Oh, hi, Luke. Hey, um, so, uh, you wanted to meet me here? Wait, what? No, you wanted to meet me here. Uh, no, Molly. Um, I got your letter. <laughs> I didn't write you a letter. You wrote me a letter. No, you wrote me a letter. Sarah gave it to me. 
Attention, Molly and Luke. What is going on? This is Sarah, and I want you to know that <laughs> I read your diary, Molly. Ah! What? <laughs> That's right. I'm going to read you guys a little bit of what Molly said. No, Luke, cover your ears. You don't want to hear this. What? Why? And why'd you write me that letter and now you're saying you didn't? I didn't write you the letter. I'm guessing that Sarah wrote you a letter from me. And then she wrote me a letter from you. Why would she do that? Oh, I can only take a guess. Okay, here you go. Dear Diary, Luke is so cute. Huh? You wrote this, Molly? No, I, I don't know what you're talking about. This is really Molly, Diary. It's not Daisy or baby Kira. I really like Luke. He's cute. He's adorable. He's smart. He is like an amazing football player. Love, Molly. Oh my gosh! I'm humiliated! <laughs> By the way, losers, I have locked you into the school for 24 hours. <laughs> have fun! Oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm mortified! I'm so embarrassed! I can't believe she stole my diary and read it out loud! Hey, Molly. Ah! What are you doing here? This is the girl's bathroom! Well, no one else is around, and, 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 and you ran away before I could even say anything. Wow, the girl's bathroom is much bigger than the boys. O-M-G! Get out of here! Um, wait, I just want to tell you something. I... I like you, too. Wait, what? You do? Yup, I do. I think you're cute and amazing and smart and funny, even if you don't do your homework. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, and I'm kind of glad that I'm stuck in the school with you for 24 hours. We can have, like, a first date. This is a date? Yup, if you want it to be, that is. I totally do. Aww. Maybe we should go to the cafeteria and, well, eat pizza. I love that idea! <laughs> Let's eat all the pizza so that they don't have any for lunch tomorrow and they'll be like, where's all the pizza? And we can secretly laugh inside because we'll know the answer and they won't. Wow, complex, Luke. Okay, let's do it. I always thought you were kind of simple, but no, seems you have a whole plot line going here. Ooh, this pizza's delicious. Mm, it totally is. Molly, I hope that we can be the best of friends. Me too, Luke. Mm, this is really good. So, um, what do you want to do now? Uh, eat more pizza. <laughs> Duh. Molly, I never knew somebody that liked pizza as much as you. Well, we're going to eat it all so all the students wonder where it goes tomorrow. You better get eating, Luke. Um, yeah, I'm full already. <laughs> I can totally eat more pizza than you. <laughs> hey, want to go to the gym and play some basketball? Sounds like a great idea, except for I just ate all that pizza. I'll probably throw up. Nah, it'll be fun. Come on. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. I forgot where the gym was for a minute. <laughs> now that pizza went to my brain. Okay. Let's see if I'm better at basketball than Luke. Um, you probably are. I'm really good at football, though. I'm not really great at football. Whoa, good shot, Luke. I'm having so much fun right now. Me too. Um, Luke, um, we didn't think about something. What's that, Molly? Where are we gonna sleep? Um, well... Ugh. Well, I don't feel so good. Why? Oh no. You ate too much pizza and then you jumped around playing basketball. Uh-oh. I don't want to throw up on our first date. That would ruin everything, wouldn't it? Um, you better run to the boys' bathroom. <laughs> I'll set up a sleeping area. Good idea, Molly. We definitely have to sleep here till the morning. Wait a minute. No students allowed. <gasps> Perfect! Yes! In the janitor's room, there's a bunk bed. I'll let Luke choose if he wants top bunk or bottom bunk. Are you feeling better, Luke? A little. I don't know why I ate all that pizza. <laughs> <laughs> um, Luke, I was wondering, um, are you having fun on our date? I'm having a great time on our date. Yep. Well, I want to show you something. Uh, I'm not looking forward to sleeping on the bleachers. No, no, no. Look what I found in the janitor's room. 
bunk beds. Do you want the top bunk or the bottom bunk, Luke? I'll take the bottom. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. This ladder is kind of broken. I can't climb up the ladder. Uh, uh, uh. Here, Molly, I'll take the top bunk. Are you sure, Luke? Well, if I can climb up the ladder, sure. Well, Molly, this was a great first date. I agree, but you know we're probably going to get detention tomorrow for being locked inside the school. But it wasn't our fault. We'll just tell them Sarah did it. Yeah, if they believe me. I'm always getting detention. Plus, we ate all the pizza for school tomorrow. Yeah, we might get detention about that. But at least we'll be in detention together. And, uh, Molly? Yeah, Luke? Would you like to go to the school dance with me on Friday? Um, uh, uh... It's okay if you don't want to. I would love to! Great. This 24 hours stuck in the school with you has been the best 24 hours of my life. Ditto, Luke. Ditto. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Molly. And to me, Daisy. And today, guys, we're playing Teeth Runner. Uh, Molly, these girls have pigtails just like me, but their teeth are yellow. Ew. We've got to brush their teeth, Molly. Ugh, I don't know. I'm kind of lazy for that. Let's go eat a cupcake. Molly, no. We have to brush their teeth. All right, well, here we go. <laughs> brush, 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 brush your teeth. Pick up the toothbrush and a lot of toothpaste. They need it. Ew, what's that? You want me to brush this pickle? What is that? Ew! Looks like it's got bones in it or something. Maybe it's a doo-doo, Molly. Um, no, I don't think I want to brush that. I'm going to brush the zombie's teeth. Oh, no. It's going to be okay, Molly. Let's do this. Oh, I see. <laughs> you needed to use that as toothpaste. I gotcha. I gotcha. Oh, we're going to rocket launch toothpaste at these guys. Do it, Molly. Rocket launch it at their teeth. Tap, 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 tap. <laughs> Look at how wide their mouths are. Holy guacamole. Okay, that was like really fun. Oh boy, I'm glad I'm not a dentist because I don't want to have to clean all of these teeth. Even Zabby's teeth? No, I'm not going to be a dentist. I'll stick with a scientist. Okay, you have to collect that disgusting stuff and put that on the zombie's teeth. I know, Molly, right? But don't put it on the human's teeth, no matter how much you want to. What would happen if I did, Molly? Um, you would probably infect them with zombieism. Ugh, scratch the teeth! Ugh! This is what the, denti the dental hygienist does. She has to blast away all this gross stuff on your teeth. Whoa, we got 3,000. Like, way over 3,000 um, gems right now. Whoa, what can we use those to buy? I don't know, maybe better toothbrushes or something? <laughs> A better job? That would be even better. Okay, let's see. We can buy better toothbrushes, cannons, and also scary faces. <laughs> oh, man. I just bought a drill. Are you serious, Molly? No one's going to want to come see you if you're going to drill their teeth. Hey, they should have thought of that when they didn't brush their teeth every single day. Let's take care of these zombies' teeth. Ew, they're so gross. Look at their eyes. They like watch you, Molly. <laughs> That's because they know what's coming. They're gonna get the drill. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to drill your teeth because you're humans. Actually, yes, I do. Molly. <laughs> um, yeah, I was supposed to drill their teeth though. I wasn't supposed to drill the zombies' teeth right there. I think. I'm a little confused. I'm not like a dentist in real life or anything. Look at this. It looks like stretch mouth. Totally. Level clear. Oh, a bonus unlocked. Oh, I'm, well, I'm 75% there for the bonus unlocked. Um, and it's going to be super amazing when I think when the bonus does unlock. What are you even talking about right now, Marley? Do you even know what you're saying? I mean, you're on YouTube in front of millions of people and you're just jibber jabbling. Ay, 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 Daisy! Don't be rude to me right now. I may need a cupcake. I'm feeling very hungry. A little lightheaded, actually. I'll be right back. I'm going to go to the kitchen. Ma Molly, come back here. You're going to leave me to brush these zombies' teeth all by myself? Okay, guys. I'm just going to be brushing these teeth all by myself because my sister had to go get a snack. Okay, let's pick up some toothpaste here. And, um, oh, they're little kids. It's okay. 
Um, is this your first trip to the dentist? <laughs> Let me tell you something. Um, half your teeth are missing. They haven't got their grown-up teeth yet. Oh boy, more zombies! <sighs> the zombies are just... I mean, why do they care about coming to the dentist? It, it's not... <laughs> it's not like they care about their teeth, is it? Oh no, scratch their teeth! Oh! Whoa, I got a bonus six, though. That's awesome. Oh, yeah! I'm doing amazing. Okay, I'm back. What happened? Molly, are you going to eat that cupcake in my eel? Um, yes. Mmm, it's delicious. My turn! Molly, I'd hate to see your trip to the dentist. You'd probably have cavities. Who, me? No, never. Yeah, you. You probably need a root canal from all that sugar. What's that, a trowel? <laughs> I can pick that up at Lowe's Hardware Store. That's not something that you use in your mouth for your teeth. Oh, well, it's what I've got, so here we go. Sorry so much about this, zombies, but, um, yeah, this is not going to be good. Oh, my gosh! <laughs> oh, man! I'm surprised it's not knocking their teeth out. Oh, my gosh! We have to give a spicy jalapeno! <laughs> we were giving those guys spicy jalapenos! Here you go! Oh, not the zombie. Actually, I want to see what the zombie does if you give him a spicy jalapeno. <laughs> He'd probably explode. All right. Cannon power! Go, 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 go! Whoa! Look at all the clean teeth. And I got a huge bonus. Great job, Molly! Thank you, Daisy. I just knew I needed a cupcake. I feel all better now. Okay, get this chili pepper, and I'm going to give it to these guys for their teeth. Don't ask me why, because I have no idea. I'd give them tacos. Molly, you can't eat a taco when you're at the dentist. Says who? Molly, quit distracting me. I'm trying to take... Oh, my gosh. Look what I did to those zombies. You distracted me, Molly. And I accidentally exploded those zombies. <laughs> I knew it. I knew that was going to happen. Molly, the zombies are all friends. Zombies are not friends. They are evil, and they go, Uh, I want to eat your brains. We should definitely explode them with chili peppers. What is that? A new object to, to claim? It looked like uh, some sort of, like, I don't know. It was just weird. I think it looked like a um spatula or something. Let's customize some faces, Molly. I'm sick of seeing the same old ones. Oh, all they are is zombies. Creepy. Well, zombies. Oh, look at his teeth. I was about to say, do zombies need dental care too? And boy, was I right. That is disgusting. That's exactly what my teeth are going to look like if I keep eating too many cupcakes. I thought you'd never learn, Molly. Whoa, look, we can upgrade our cannon too. Super cannon! Let's do this. I love that we're using toothpaste that has like flies on it. Molly, I don't think that's toothpaste. I think that actually might be slime. Oh. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> oh, man, look at that. It turns our teeth all brown. Okay, messing up in this game is actually kind of fun. Yeah, I have to admit, it kind of is. Okay, Um, next I'm going to rocket launch this chili pepper all over these people's teeth. Let's see if they actually like it. Whoa! <laughs> it still whitened their teeth. Maybe it just like melted them because it was so hot. <laughs> oh, brother. Playing mobile games with my sister, it can be sort of crazy. Okay, it's my last turn, and I am going to um, <laughs> make everybody explode with jalapenos. It's my favorite, actually. Except for the zombies. I, I mean, they already have enough of a rough life. I guess I won't do that to them. No, exploding the zombies is so much fun. I know, I saw that already. But I'm actually filling up all of these people <laughs> with a zombie slime. Daisy, you're going to start the zombie apocalypse. What are you doing? <laughs> a dentist starts the zombie apocalypse. Well, you're not actually a dentist, Daisy. Well, in this game, I am. Really? Let me see your diploma. Let me see it. Huh? 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 Oh, boy. My sister is so annoying. Okay, now we have to blast through all his disgusting plaque. Probably partly because you put all that zombie slime on his teeth. It was worth it. It was hilarious. Oh, boy! 
We got a new cannon! Great! Now we can clean teeth extra fast. Okay, it's my last turn, and I have to take extra good care of these zombies today. Okay, Mr. Zombie. Here you go. Oh, we're... F we're oh, no! I was supposed to feed him the bread. Wee oui, wee! Oui, I'm supposed to feed you the bread! But I accidentally fed you all this zombie slime. Was it on accident, Molly? Or was it on purpose? What, me? No, never. Yeah, slam the like button if you think Molly did that on purpose. I think she definitely did. Me? No, I'd never do that. Whoa! Oh, yeah. Clean all of her teeth. Clean them all. Oh, we missed like one tooth. <laughs> that one's going to go rotten and fall out. Probably, Molly. Probably. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching us play Teeth 1 -oh. I think we were pretty good dentists. Well, really not Molly because she kept putting zombie slime in everybody's mouth. That wasn't a zombie. <laughs> I think I was the funniest dentist ever. Guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We think you're the best fans in the world. We'll see you next time. Bye. Why do we have so much homework? This is ridiculous. Molly, it's not so bad if you get started right after school. But usually you have detention, so you don't get to start your homework until 5 o'clock. Well, I'm here right now, and look at the time. 3 o'clock. And I'm going to be here all night. I'm so tired of doing homework. Who does this teacher think she is? Do I hear girls complaining about their homework? Not me, Dad. I don't mind doing homework at all. I quite enjoy learning. It's my sister. She's the demon. I'm not a demon. Daisy, take that back. Okay, no fighting, girls. You know, Molly, being a kid isn't that hard. It's hard. Very hard. You should try being an adult sometimes. That's the hardest of them all. <laughs> and someday you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Really? You think your life is so hard, Dad? I don't think so. Yes, it is. It's super hard. Okay, well, how come I think my life's hard and you don't think so? Because I was a kid once, and I'm telling you, it wasn't as hard as this. Okay, fine. Well, I'll make you a bet. My life is harder than yours. Seriously? How are we going to do that bet? I'll live your life for a day as an adult, and you can relive your life as a kid. But in my shoes. Wow, that sounds like a vacation. <laughs> Deal. Great! Hey, Daisy, are you in on this? Yeah, sure. I've been wanting to get some experience. Oh, girls, you've decided that you're going to switch jobs with us? Yeah, you guys are going to go to school for the day. Ooh, school lunch pizza. I can't wait. I know, right? Oh, and the hoagies they used to serve us. <laughs> Seems like I take after you guys more than I thought. You're both excited about lunch. Oh, is that your favorite subject too, Molly? Sure is. Lunch is delicious. Ay, ay, ay. I must be adopted. <laughs> nope. I remember when your mom had you, Daisy. Okay, if you say so. Okay, so, um, who's going to take my job? Not me. Your job's too hard. Really? You think being a doctor is that hard? Totally. I want to be a cop like Dad. I want the experience of being a doctor. I'll take Mom's job. I don't think you girls can take this, but we'll see. Yeah, I swear, one hour in, you're going to be crying when you have Mrs. Smith as a teacher. We'll see about that. Ah, Dad has to get up really early for his job. Ugh. Good morning, Molly. Are you ready for our day as adults? Totally. I even got my handcuffs. Oh, uh, Molly, don't get me fired from my job. <laughs> No promises, Dad. No promises. Um, Dan, what are you wearing? These corduroy pants from when I was in high school. <laughs> they still fit. Can you believe that? And they're so cool. Um, Dan, corduroy pants went out of style like 20 years ago. Wait, what? I don't know what I'm going to wear. It's okay. No one expects you to look cool. What? I need to look cool. <laughs> you guys are already failing as kids. Well, I have a busy day at the police station. Bye! Dad, can I drive the car? No! Okay, I'll walk. Wow! This is so cool! I'm so glad I'm here instead of at school. Wow, he must be the first one here today. Okay, well, no big deal. I'll do what I know Dad does best. Get a snack, of course. Wait a minute. Are they all out of donuts? And 
and coffee? <laughs> How am I supposed to live without donuts and coffee? Officer Dan! Wait a minute, you're not Officer Dan. Who are you? I'm his daughter. I'm taking over for him today. But just for today. We made a bet. Well, if you're taking over for Officer Dan, you should know that you're supposed to pick up the donuts and coffee from Starbucks every morning. I'm a simple gopher? Aren't I an amazing cop? Yes, but you're also the gopher. Now go to Starbucks and get the coffee and donuts. Well, I guess there could be worse things. Okay. My boss seems kind of mean, though. But I'm getting donuts, so I'm okay with it. I don't get those in school. Ah, Starbucks coffee. One of my favorite places on the planet. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Shouldn't there be some young 20-something here on their cell phone instead of working? There's like nobody here. Okay, fine. I'll just get my own donuts. Mmm, those are delicious. The chief of police is going to love that. Ooh, what was that? Why is the alarm going off at Starbucks? Oh, look, here comes the chief. <laughs> Must be he couldn't wait for his donut. You're under arrest. Wait, what? Did you just steal that donut from Starbucks? No, nobody was working here, and you said you wanted a donut. It was my job to get them. Mm, they're good. Mm. I didn't tell you to eat them. I didn't tell you to steal them. You're going to have to spend the entire day inside a jail cell just to learn your lesson. Wait, what? No, I'm supposed to be working for the police, not being arrested by the police. Oh, you heard me. Jail cell for you. Hands behind your back, please. We do not take kindly to thievery. And since you're taking your dad's place, uh, you could probably be the one to tell him he's fired. What? No, I can't get my dad fired. Oh my gosh. I failed as an adult. I failed. Oh my gosh. Logan actually sent me an email. Oh my gosh. This is so amazing. What? He wants to take me out on Friday night? Hi, Bill. I'm Daisy. Uh-huh. Yeah, whatever. Are you new here? No, I'm just filling in for the day for Dr. Lola. Oh, um, yeah, okay. Well, there's a patient in room number two that needs to be taken to x-ray. I can't even talk right now because I need a break. Oh, your shift just started. What are you talking about? Can't you see I'm busy? Yeah, busy writing a personal email. Oh, my gosh. Is this how this hospital is run? Whatever. What are you, the police? No, my sister decided to work for the police. I'm going to be a doctor for the day. Or at least follow you around. Ugh, whatever. You seem super, like, together and stuff. And just so you know, I need a break already. You just got here! Doctor, what's your last name? Call me Dr. Candy. <laughs> I'm as sweet as candy, too. Ah, uh, yeah, you seem in now, but don't we have patients to take care of? Yeah, they can wait. Holy guacamole, Dr. Candy! Don't you think you should be a better doctor than this? Look, I don't know how you think this hospital runs, but I am your superior, okay? So you can do what I say, or you can be fired. Oh my gosh, I don't want to get my mom fired. Okay, I'll move the patient to X-ray. Hey, Logan, I would love to go out with you. It sounds like so much fun. <laughs> Maybe we should go horseback riding or a long walk on the beach. <laughs> Dr. Candy, there's a problem in room number three. The patient is in unconscious. Oh, I'm sure he's just sleeping. He'll be fine. Dr. Candy! Okay. Who? Who? Stop putting me on the stretcher. Sorry. I was a little stressed out. He looks perfectly fine to me and awake. No, his eyes are awake, but he's not responding. He's unconscious. Let me see here. Are you going to um listen to his heart with a stethoscope? Make sure he's still alive. What? No, I'm going to do this. Yeah, we're spraying him with a, with a fire extinguisher. Are you even a doctor? <laughs> see? Totally fine. Take him to x-ray, please. This job's crazy. And if you insult my doctor skills again, you're fired! Ah, I need so much caffeine today. Dealing with all these students can be, well, a little bit crazy. Okay, first take out math books, then notebook, then take out your notebook, and take notes. 
Ah, can't type. Okay, take notes. Perfect. Good morning. Whoa. What are you two adults doing here? Oh, our daughters thought our lives were so easy as adults that we switched with them for the day. Yeah, when's lunch? We can't wait to eat pizza. Uh, you just got here, and okay, weird, but I guess I can teach you. Yeah, we're here to learn and eat lots and lots and lots of pizza. Okay, um, first we're going to take out our textbooks. You guys know that they're on your, um, on your tablets, right? Wait, what? It says take out math book. Yeah, but they're actually loaded onto your tablet. What tablet? Wait, a tablet? Like, this kind of tablet? No, 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 silly. Like, you know, a computer, a cell phone, and a tablet. Oh, uh, I don't have one of those. Oh, but we have a notebook. Also, your notebook is on your tablet. Do you have your stylus pen so you can write? Oh my gosh, things have changed so much, Laura. Can I be excused? I want to go eat pizza. No, and if you don't have what you need, you're going to fail. Wait, wh what? And you'll have detention. Oh my god, I'm always telling Molly she shouldn't get detention. Me too, and now we're getting detention for her. I don't know, this is too much. I want to go back to writing with pencils and paper. Oh, that's so prehistoric. We don't do that here anymore. But I suggest coming to school tomorrow prepared. Oh, we're going to sit in detention. Daisy, are you okay? Oh, my gosh. There is this doctor, Dr. Candy, that works with Ma, Mom at the hospital. And she is crazy and, and well, she's, I'm going to say it. She has air in her head instead of a brain. <laughs> Well, uh, my day didn't go much better. I sort of got dad fired. What? Molly? Speaking of mom and dad, where are they? I don't know, but I want my old life back. I want it back. Hey, kids. Where have you guys been? It's so late. We got detention. What? <laughs> you got detention? You're not allowed to preach to me anymore about not getting detention. There's so much technology, I thought we just needed a notebook and a pencil. Yeah, we're about as out of date as those corduroy pants, Dan. Don't pick up my corduroy pants! <sighs> well, we can switch lives back. That sounds like a great idea. Yeah, I want to go back to my job as a police officer. Dad, about that, I sort of got you fired. What? Molly! Whoopsie! Hey, Daisy, what you doing? Well, I'm coming up with a shopping list for Mom. Why are you doing that? Because I don't think she feels good still. Wait, she still doesn't feel good? She's been sick for like 24 hours. She should be better by now. Speaking of Molly, why don't you take her a bottle of water? That's a great idea. You can finish up the shopping list. Yeah, we're all out of avocados. Ew, avocados! Since you're making the grocery list, why don't you put things like, um, waffles and ice cream, cupcakes! Oh boy, Molly, you'll never get anything healthy. Okay, instead of water, I'm gonna take Mom some Gatorade, because I think she might actually really need that. Because when you're sick, you just need electrolytes and stuff. Don't wake her up if she's sleeping, Molly! You're so bossy, Daisy. Bossy, bossy, bossy! They should call her Daisy Bossy. That should be her middle name. Mom? Oh, Molly. Mom, are you still sick? Yeah. Mom, I brought you a Gatorade. No, I can't drink or eat anything. Oh. Oh my gosh. Mom, I'm starting to get really worried about you. You haven't eaten or drank anything in 24 hours. That's a long time to go without food and water. I know, I don't know what to do. Your dad's away on a business trip and I just still feel so sick right now. Ugh, just go downstairs, Molly. I need more rest. Okay, Mom. I'll check on you in a few minutes. Oh my gosh, my mom is still sick. Daisy, Daisy, Daisy! Molly, hold on. Okay, we always get the green apples and the red ones. What is it, Molly? Mom, she's, she's not any better. 
Did she drink anything? Like any water or anything? No, she didn't. Oh my gosh, Molly. This isn't good. I know. I don't know what to do. I don't know either. Um, maybe we should give her a few more minutes. She just might me need more rest. Okay, well, let's um watch some TV. Sounds good, Molly. It's pretty cold outside today. I'm not sure I want to go out there. Plus, if Mom needs us, we'll be right here. OMG! <laughs> Look at the frog taking the picture of the dog. That's funny. Um, ooh, Brooke, hi. I've already seen this episode, but it's a good one. Molly, stop munching so loud. I can't even hear the TV. Sorry. I can't help it, but this burrito is so good. Mmm. So delicious. Mmm. Mmm. Um, 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 um. Molly! Okay, I'll just turn up the television. Good idea, cuz, uh, I'm not gonna stop eating this burrito. Ugh, I'm so full of burrito. So full of burrito. Molly, I think we should go check on Mom now. Okay, just, just roll me off the couch. Ugh. You shouldn't eat so much, you pig! <laughs> Mom? Mom? How are you feeling, Mom? Oh, my stomach hurts. Oh my gosh, Molly, she's not any battle. Maybe she just has to fart. That makes my stomach hurt. <sniffs> Molly! Oh my gosh, maybe I should listen to her stomach. Daisy, you're not a doctor. Girls, just leave me alone. I have to go back to sleep. My stomach hurts so bad. Daisy, can I see you out in the hallway for a minute? Sure, Molly, what is it? I don't I don't like the look of this. Like, Mom's not getting any better. I think we should call the hospital. That's a good idea, Molly. Let's do it. 911, what's your emergency? Hi, um, my name is Molly and my mom is sick. Okay, where do you live, Molly? I live at 123 Brookhaven Lane. Seriously, that's your address? Yes, I know, it's crazy, right? <laughs> Easy to remember when I was in kindergarten. Molly, get to the point. How is your mom sick, dear? Um, she's had this pain in her stomach for 24 hours. Has she eaten or drank anything? No, she hasn't. She just said she can't eat anything. Her stomach hurts and she can't get out of bed. And my dad's on a work trip and it's just me and my sister and we don't know what to do. It sounds like your mom is very sick. I'm going to send an ambulance to your address right away. Um, just hold tight. They'll be there soon. Thank you. Molly, what did they say? They said mom sounds like she's really sick. They're sending an ambulance to take her to the hospital. Oh, no. Mom. It's going to be okay. I'm going to tell mom. Mom? Yeah. Mom, I called 911. What? Why? Why? Because, mom, let's face it. You're really sick. Dad's away on a business trip, and I don't know. I just think you need to get checked out by a doctor. An ambulance is coming. Oh, I think you might be right, Molly. I'm going to call your grandma. She can come stay with you while I go to the hospital. If she's not too busy. Okay, Mom. She said that Grandma's going to come stay with us if she can. I'm worried about Mom, Molly. I'm worried. It's going to be okay, Daisy. It's going to be okay. Oh my gosh, I hope my mom's gonna be okay. Good luck, mom! Oh, hi, Molly. Grandma, hi! I've had a really stressful day, grandma. Everything's gonna be okay. Grandma's here now, and so is Kitty McKiddums. Come on, let's go inside, Molly. Grandma, <laughs> I, I'm just, don't worry about a thing, Molly. I could make you some cookies. Now, where is Daisy? I'm right here, Grandma! Oh, would you girls like some cookies? I could bake you some. Actually, Grandma, um, can you take us to the park? I have a little bit of cabin fever. Sure, I'd love to take you girls to the park. What do you think, Kitty McKittums? Meow, meow, meow. Kitty McKittums loves that idea. Let's go. Wow, it actually turned out to be a pretty nice day. Yeah, it's really warm out. Come on, Daisy, let's swing on the swings. Whee! Whoa, this is so much fun, whoa! Oh my gosh, I'm getting dizzy. Whoa, 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 whee! 
Oh my gosh. Grandma, did you see that? I almost landed in the fountain. Oh, it's a little too cold to go swimming. <laughs> hey, Grandma, does kitty kittens like swimming? Oh, most cats hate water, Molly. They really hate it. <laughs> kitty kittens, you want to go in the fountain? Uh, I'm going to take that as a no. <laughs> Molly, come on. Um, Let's go um down the water slide. Oh, girls, you're not afraid you'll be a little cold? Never, Grandma! Never! <laughs> this is going to be fun. Grandma lets us do so many fun things. Whoa! <laughs> okay, Grandma was right. <laughs> it is too cold to go swimming. Holy guacamole. Daisy, I'm going up the diving board. Whoa, I kind of fell off it. Go for it, Daisy. Oh my gosh, Daisy's going so high in the air, I don't even see her. Da Daisy? Did you guys see her go in the pool? I didn't see her go in the pool. Daisy? Is Daisy up on the tree? Do I have to call the fire department? Molly! <laughs> it shot me all the way over to Starbucks. Holy guacamole. Try again, Daisy. Oh, she's going all the way up into the tree. Oh, she laid into the pool. Molly, why didn't you warn me? It's freezing in here. Huh, I just thought about something. What, your stomach? No, coming to the park is fun, but... <sighs> Mom's at the hospital, and I'm worried about her. You're right, Molly. Wait a minute. Is Grandma just trying to distract us from what's going on with Mom? Did she... Did she die? What? Daisy! How could you say that? I'm just wondering, Molly. Oh, my gosh. Grandma! Grandma! Oh, Kitty McKittums, they're back. Grandma, <laughs> I'm worried. Oh, Molly, why the sad face? Because we know you're just trying to distract us from what's going on with Mom. Well, um, uh, you're right. I didn't want you girls to worry too much over something you could do nothing about. The doctors and nurses know how to best take care of your mom. I'm just worried that we're going to lose her. She's my mom. I love her. I don't want to lose her. <laughs> oh, girls, at this point, I think the best thing to do would be to head over to the hospital and, and check on how your mom's doing. I think you're right, Grandma. We deserve to know the truth. Yeah, Grandma. Okay, let's walk over to the hospital then. I hope my mom is okay. I really hope my mom is okay. Actually, we can take my car if you want. It's from 1972. It's a classic. Classically ugly. Hey, don't talk about Betsy that way. You named your car, Grandma? I sure did. She is one sweet ride. Wow, wow. See, even Kitty McKittums thinks so. Grandma, we just had to walk down the block. I have bad hips. I can't walk very far. She must be in one of these rooms, Daisy. Where's the doctor? I don't know. Maybe he's out to lunch or something or dinner. I don't know. Oh, my God. Every single room on this floor is empty. I know Grandma said this is the floor she's on. Molly, you don't think that our mom died, do you? Oh my gosh, I hope not. Mom! Cat, where did you come from and why are you sitting on my shoulder? Oh, anybody lose a cat? Anyone lose a cat? Oh, hello there. How can I help you? And do you know whose cat this is? Uh, yeah, I think it's my grandma's. Kitty McKittum, get off the doctor's shoulder. Well, what can I do for you girls? We're here to see our mom, unless, of course, she died because she's not in any of these rooms. What is your mom's name? It's Laura. Oh, Laura. Yes, she's in surgery. What? Surgery? Why? Oh, <laughs> no big deal. She's almost done, and I promise when she is, she will feel much, much better. What happened to her? She had this annoying thing in her body called an appendix. Wait, an appendix? That's a part of your body you need, right? Not really. A lot of times I just do surgery on people because the annoying appendix decides to burst or, I don't know, just cause people trouble. Why are we even born with those anyway? I don't know. You're the doctor. Why don't you tell us? Anyway, your mom's appendix burst. Holy guacamole. 
That's why she had such a bad stomach ache. And now she'll need to eat tons of ice cream to recover. Oh, wow. Can I have my appendix out? I want to eat tons of ice cream. I'm afraid not, Molly. Unless, of course, your appendix decides to be annoying. Anyway, um, she should be wheeled out into her room any minute. And you guys can see her if you're nice and quiet. And you don't steal her ice cream, Molly. Yeah, no stealing her ice cream. Now I've got to go find the owner of this cat. Excuse me. Daisy, did you hear that? Mom's going to be okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so relieved. Molly, I think they're wheeling out Mom's stretcher now. It is, Mom. Come on, let's go see her. Mom? Mom? Oh, hey, girls. Mom, why are you talking like that? I just got off of anesthesia. I feel funny. <laughs> Mom's not quite awake from her anesthesia from her surgery. Whee! I'm floating in the clouds. It feels nice. <laughs> Mom, you're being silly. Mom, guess what the doctor said? That I'm going to be an angel and fly through the clouds. Or a unicorn. Or maybe a flying hippopotamus. <laughs> Mom! You're saying weird stuff right now. No, she said you can eat lots of ice cream. And you should, because it'll be gentle on your tummy. Are you are you being serious right now, Molly? She can eat as much ice cream as she wants? Yeah, you heard the doctor, didn't you? Yeah, I did. I can't believe it. She's lucky. Totally. Ice cream, you say? Can I eat it while I'm floating up in the clouds? Sure, Mom. Anything you want. We're just glad you're A-OK. -okay. Oh, it's so cold. It's so cold. Molly, why are you wearing all of that in the house? I am sick and tired of winter. Winter should go away. Die, winter, die. Holy guacamole, Molly. You need to calm down. Winter is awful and evil. <laughs> Molly, winter is fun. You can go sleigh riding. Yeah, it's fun for like a month. And, and then... Molly, stop cutting me off. I'm trying to tell you. You could build a snowman. Blah, 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 blah. Winner! You're evil! Go away! Molly, quacka, Molly, Molly. I think you might need a vacation. Actually, that sounds like a great idea. It seems like I have cabin fever from all this snow. I do too, Molly. It's just too much. Mom! Mom! <laughs> la, 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 la. I love this song. La, 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 la. Mom, have you lost your mind? Oh, God, she's got cabin fever, too. Everyone, pack your bags. Pack your bags? What are you talking about? <laughs> you girls have school. And that reminds me, you should get going right now and get all your books in your backpack and all that stuff so you don't miss the bus. What? what? But, Mom, we want to go on vacation. We're sick of all this snow. Can we go to Florida? Palm trees swing in the breeze. No way. We're not going on vacation right now. You're right in the middle of school, the school year. We don't care, Mom. We're sick of the snow and the cold and the ice and the freezings. Yeah, the freezings. What do you mean by that, Daisy? I mean, I'm freezing. And I couldn't even talk because my lips are frozen. <laughs> Daisy, you're weird sometimes. But you're my sister, so I still love you. Aww. Mom, look at what Molly's wearing inside our house. We need a break from this cold. Sorry, girls. Very busy day at work today. <laughs> yeah, that's it. So, um, I'll see you later. Have fun at school. La, 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 la. Today's going to be amazing. Daisy, Mom's acting really weird. She's either got cabin fever because she's gone crazy or something very fishy is going on here. What do you mean, Molly? Nothing fishy is going on. Uh, yeah, because Mom's never that excited about work. Wait a minute. Do you think she's even going to work? Only one way to find out. Oh, there's a bus. I gotta hide. <laughs> See you later. Not going to school today. <laughs> Daisy, you don't have to hide in the bushes anymore. The school bus is gone. I can't believe I just skipped school. My career is over. Daisy, you built a secret lab in the back of your closet. I'm sure you're going to be just fine. You're going to be a brilliant scientist. You missing one day of school won't kill you. Yeah, I guess you're right. Now, come on. We have to be very stealthy about this so we can see where Mom went. All right, well, her car's pulling out right now, so I guess we should follow her. 
Come on, Molly! Let's go! Daisy, you didn't actually start the scooter. <laughs> oh, yeah, that seemed very dramatic, but um, I guess I was supposed to actually drive it. Yeah, okay, let's try that again. Let's go! These roads are terrible, Molly! Well, just be careful, Daisy. We have to find out what Mom's doing, and, and this is the only mode of transportation that we have. What's she doing at Brooke's Diner? This isn't her way to work. Well, maybe she just stopped for a coffee and a sandwich. You know, she didn't have time to eat breakfast this morning. Yeah, that's true. Um, but she better hurry. She's going to be late for work. Molly, she's sitting down. Oh, M G! She's meeting somebody here. Don't be ridiculous. Mom is the best doctor in Brookhaven. She would never, ever miss work. Yeah, you're right. Why is she sitting down? Maybe her foot fell asleep when she was driving or something. Oh, pins and needles, pins and needles. That's the worst feeling ever. I would want to sit down too. O-M-G, she is meeting somebody. Who is that? I don't know, Molly, but she looks like she's about mom's age and they're going to eat a lot of food, I bet. What? Mom's not at work today? What is she doing? She's going to get fired. Molly, get down. She's going to see you. Well, now you get down or she's going to see you. Hey, Laura, do you know those two kids outside? What? Oh, probably not. Here, let me take a look. Molly, hurry. Hide behind the plant. Mom's getting up. Okay, we're incognito. Hmm, I don't see any kids. Oh, they were right here. Hmm. I don't know. They were staring right at us. Don't worry about it. My kids are at school today. Mine are too. Thank goodness. I needed a day off. Me too. What? She took the day off? Did I hear that right? No, Molly, that can't be right. She's probably just meeting a client here. You mean a patient? Why wouldn't she just meet them at the hospital? Ah, uh, yeah, good point, Molly. I don't know. I'm out of excuses for her. I can't believe my mom skipped work. Uh, Daisy, it looks like they're paying for the check. We need to run and quick. Hi. I wonder where she'd go next. I don't know, but I'm following her to find out. Molly, look. Mom's getting a manicure. I love manicures. I can't believe she went without me. I can't believe she skipped work and then said we couldn't go and skip school or have a vacation or anything. Oh, that's just like Mom to do that. No, it's not, Molly. Mom never misses work. Okay, yeah, it's not like Mom at all. That's why it's so crazy. Do you think an alien abducted Mom? No. I think she really did just take a day off. Okay, Laura, how would you like your hair done today? Oh, same old, same old, just with the rainbows, you know. It just feels nice to have someone pamper me for the day. Yeah, must be nice. Is she totally shopping for beach clothes? My goodness, she's going on a vacation without us. That's it. Busted. Hey, what are you... Molly? Daisy, what are you doing here? Why are you in school? Why are you wearing a bikini? Are you going on vacation without us? Huh? 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 What are you girls talking about? We're talking about the fact you won't let us go on a vacation, but it sure seems like you're taking one. Yeah, Mom. What gives? Um, well, um, I took a personal day. Wait, what's that? It's when you're a grown-up, you just call into work and say, I'm sorry, but I'm taking one of my personal days for my mental health. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I need one of those. You have one. It's called three months of summer. No, 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 no. I have summer school. Molly, that's not mom's fault. Okay, well, I have to read, do summer reading program, you know. During the long winter and school year, I need a break every once in a while. Oh, I suppose you're right, girls. Even kids need breaks sometimes, personal days. Yeah. I guess we could make it educational, though, so... How about next Friday, you can get out of school for half a day and we'll go to the Aquarium C program. Wow, that sounds fun. What do you think, Daisy? That sounds amazing. A very own personal day. Well, half day. Well, I'll take what I can get. <laughs> Just make sure you pick us up after we eat lunch. We're having pizza that day. Oh, Molly, always thinking about your stomach. Guess I can go home since I know where Mom is now. Yeah, can't believe she skipped work today. What a rebel! Dad? Oh, look what he's... He parked the...
police car and he's just sitting in Starbrooks. That doesn't seem right. Dad, what are you doing? Huh? What? Uh-oh, God. You're eating a muffin without me? Dad! I'm having a little bit of a personal day. You too? What do you mean? Mom's taking a personal day as well. Really? Oh my gosh! Everybody's getting a personal day today. Except for me and Daisy. Wah, wah, wah. What games do you guys want to play? How about, uh, I want to play Twister. No, I don't want to play Twister. Uh, I'm kind of like tired today. You're tired? Why? Oh, never mind. It's kind of a secret. A secret, you say, huh? Yeah, I'm just like really tired and I'm just, I'm not in the mood to like do Twister or any game that involves me moving. Oh, okay. Well, what about Truth or Dare? Ooh, yeah, I second that. Okay, yeah, I'll play Truth or Dare. Okay, Brookie, well, you ask first. Molly, truth or dare? Um, truth. Do you have a crush on Luke? Um, I don't know what you're talking about. She knows exactly what you're talking about, Bookie. Look, her face is getting really red. She's really embarrassed. Molly, you have to answer the truth. Um, uh, uh, next question. Molly, it, you're going to lose the game. I don't care. I'm not answering it. Come on, I'm your best friend. You can tell me, I won't tell anyone. Okay, yes, I have a crush on Luke. Oh. <laughs> I knew it, I knew it. <laughs> Don't tease me about it. Ugh. We are so never talking about this ever again. Why, you don't want to talk about your crush? Come on, Molly. Yeah, Molly. Molly and Luke sitting in a tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. First comes love, then comes marriage, then comes babies in the baby be carriage. Daisy! Be quiet! Okay, G+, plus. no need to get so mad about it. Okay, Brookie. Ugh, truth or dare? Hmm, truth didn't work out so well with you, Molly. <laughs> I think that I'm going to pick a dare. Perfect! I dare you to let me and Daisy use her shrinking potion that she made in her science lab to go inside your brain and see what you're thinking. Especially since you said there was a secret. Wait, whoa. Daisy has a lab? Yeah, it was supposed to be a secret until Molly blah, 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 blabbed. Well... It's, it's pretty cool, Daisy. Why do you want it to be a secret? Because I don't want anyone to know I'm doing science experiments. Duh! Oh, okay. Well, um, she knows now. Um, I'm your best friend. I won't tell anybody. And um, my second question is, shrinking potion? Yeah, I made a shrinking potion. And it allows us to shrink down and go in your brain. You have to take it. You chose dare. But then you'll know everything I'm thinking. Um, not everything, but we will see some things. Are you going to lose the game? Or are you going to let us go inside your brain? Huh? 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 Okay, you can use the potion and go inside my brain. Whoa, this is going to be cray cray. I sort of just wanted to go inside Brookie's brain just so I could drink the shrinking potion. It's so delicious. Tastes like a shamrock shake from McDonald's. Well, I made it taste yummy because who wants to drink a yucky drink? <laughs> I feel like I'm shrinking. Is anything happening yet? No, Molly, nothing. Whoa, Daisy, you're shrinking really fast. Oh, my gosh. You weren't kidding. She did shrink. Oh, my gosh. I don't know about this, guys. Just hold still. You won't feel a thing. Right, Daisy? I don't really know, actually. Whoa, this is crazy. Tell me about it, Molly. <laughs> I think it's kind of fun. Like a water slide. What are we doing up at 6 o'clock in the morning? It's not us, Molly. It's Pookie. Why is she running down the street? <sighs> Push yourself harder, Brookie. Push yourself harder. Whoa. <laughs> she seems kind of insane out right now. This is kind of cray cray. What's she doing? Um, I think she's doing some sort of workout. Where'd she go? I don't know, but... Why would she be up this early doing this? I think she might be training or something. <sighs> now she's riding a bike back. Okay, this is just insane. I wouldn't even get out of bed before like nine if I didn't have to. 
Okay, I can do this. Come on, I gotta beat my time. Go, go, go. She's very motivational to herself. <laughs> Where's she going, Molly? Let's follow her. Good idea. Why is she just staring at the lake like that? I don't know. <laughs> it's way too cold to go swimming today. Besides, it's only 6.30 in the morning. Brr. She's doing something. Well, she's drinking some water. Well, maybe she's just relaxing after her. Oh, my God. She's going in the water. That water is freezing. <sighs> she's trying to swim to the other side of Lake Madison. What a cuckoo. Molly, I think she might be training for the Iron Man. What is the Iron Man? I mean, I know who Iron Man is. <laughs> he wears a red suit, flies around. Molly, no, Iron Man competition. It's very, very elite. You have to be the best athlete on the planet, pretty much. Huh, I wonder why Brookie wants to do that. I mean, doesn't she just want to sit around all day and eat cupcakes? I totally would. Mmm, well, these cupcakes are delicious. Mmm, I love them so much. I could eat 400 more of them. Maybe I will. <laughs> this is the life. Mm. It's so good. Cupcakes, I love you, cupcakes. <laughs> Molly, snap out of it. Oh my goodness, you're inside someone else's brain having a daydream about cupcakes. Holy guacamole. <laughs> cupcakes are delicious. Stop it, Molly. Stop thinking about cupcakes. <sighs> well, I wonder what Brookie's doing now. It looks like she's eating something. I wonder what it is. I have to eat all this protein so I can build my muscle. So much protein. But then everyone will know my dark secret. Ooh, now we're getting to the good stuff. You mean your best friend training for a highly elite competition isn't the good stuff? No, not at all. I want to hear the dark secret. Oh, my stomach feels weird. Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, there are no words right now. Um, uh, Molly, I think I'm gonna pass out. I don't feel so good. This is your dark secret? You, you, you're, you're kidding me, right? Well, where are we? Molly, I, I think, I think, ah, I just got farted at, ah, I landed in the toilet, ah! Molly, I think we're inside, I'm, we're inside Bookie Cookie's worst nightmare. What, having to eat all this protein? You gotta eat all these beans, I guess. Yeah, and then what happens is she has gas in front of everybody, and she's super embarrassed. Well, I couldn't hear you. I have to go eat this giant burrito. Hey, why'd you eat that burrito? Molly, there's a bunch of people in here that are going to know she is super farty. Oh, well, I don't think that's such a bad thing. Okay, yes, it is. I'm so sorry, everyone, but I have to fart. <laughs> what? Is that Brookie? It is, Molly. She can't stop farting. Um, okay, I, I want to get out of here because... Her worst nightmare is also mine. I mean, eating all the beans and stuff is really cool and, and whatnot, but like having to like be farted at a million times, no thanks. Whoa, look at all these wedges of cheese. Is that dad? No, I think it's just someone that looks like dad. Dad wouldn't be in Bookie's brain in, in this giant fart nightmare. I don't know, dad farts a lot. And Bookie spends a lot of time at our house, so. <laughs> She's probably noticed all his farting. Ooh, a stinky cabbage! Wait, can I fart in here too? Molly, do not attempt to fart in there. You will change the course of Bookie's nightmare. Maybe I'll break her free from it. Let her know that everybody farts, Brookie. Everybody farts. Everybody farts. Brookie, everybody farts. Oh, that was a stinky duty one! Sorry to do this to you. Whoa! I fart cats! <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm gonna fart this person. <laughs> See, Brookie? We all fart. Yeah, it's totally normal to fart. Even Daisy farts. No, I don't. <laughs> Just kidding. Daisy! You have butterfly farts? Of course you would. Your, par your farts would be total butterflies. Oh! 
Doggy farted again! It's like a horrible gas smell! Of course it is, Molly. What do you think it's supposed to be? Uh-oh. This person's back for revenge. Molly, um, maybe we should go back into the real world now. Get out of Bookie's brain. Okay, um, give us the shrink or the grow up potion. Already took the shrinking pro potion. Now we have to um drink the enlarging potion. <laughs> I farted. Uh, that's the thing, Molly. Um, I sort of spilled it. What? We're stuck in this fart nightmare forever? Daisy! Excuse me, class. I think I'm catching a cold. Oh, no, Mrs. Smith. I'm so sorry to hear that. Oh, thank you, Brookie. Achoo! Why didn't you stay home today, Mrs. Smith? Um, because I wanted to make sure you guys got all of your lessons in. All right. Um, everyone open your, your English books to page 25, please. Molly, where's your English book? Molly, stop staring out the window. Ugh, Molly, you're daydreaming again. Huh, what? You're daydreaming again, Molly. Achoo! Well, <laughs> you know, everybody always says, have big dreams, so that's exactly what I'm doing. <gasps> There's a difference between having big dreams, Molly, and staring out the window when you're supposed to be paying attention in English class. Sorry. <laughs> I was thinking about a new business, one where I set up a shop outside and sell pizzas to everybody at lunch. Pizza could be a delicious business. She does have a point, Mrs. Smith. That is a good idea. Okay, everybody, open your English books to page 20. Uh, 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 choo! Five. Oh. Okay, let me just look in my backpack. Um, no, baby bottle, no. A toy hippo, no. <gasps> look at this monkey! Isn't he adorable? Aww. Molly, your English book! Whoa, she's getting mad. Okay, I've got it. Oh, I just need to lay down. Oh. Okay, let's quietly read to ourselves for the next 20 minutes while I just rest for a minute. Wow, you sound so sick, Mrs. Smith. Don't worry, we'll read the pages you told us to. You can just relax. Man, she's always pushing us to work, 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 work. Even when she's sick, all she can think about is pushing us to work. Maybe she could, you know, give us tons of homework and tests, too. Thanks for reminding me, Molly. There's definitely a test in the little oh, achoo bit. Oh. <sighs> Mrs. Smith actually fell asleep. I thought I was the only naughty one that fell asleep in school. She's sick, Molly. Give her a break. You guys ever notice that she always wants us to do work? I do, Molly, but I don't mind too much homework. Come on, Daisy. Even you were complaining about it last night. Yeah, she does give us a lot of work. I say we take some of that shrinking potion and see what's in her brain. Ooh, that sounds like fun. Can I come? Well, Brookie, there's only enough potion left for two people. You have to stay here and be the lookout in case someone comes in. We don't want anybody seeing us climbing in through her nose. Ew, you have to climb in through her nose? Gross! Oh, ew, Molly. We could go in through her ew. Oh, yeah, that would be a better idea than, you know, getting tangled in a bunch of boogers. Oh. Ew! Okay, Molly, I've got the shrinking potion. So you agree to go inside the teacher's brain? Yeah, I want to kind of see what she's doing, what she's thinking, too. Well, Daisy, bottoms up. Good luck, you guys. I hope you figure out why the teacher does what she does. Me, too. Me, too. Molly, do you feel like you're shrinking? I do. Well, you still look huge. What's that supposed to mean? Just kidding. You're definitely shrinking down. Oh my gosh, Molly. You look so adorable. <laughs> Thanks, Brookie. Oh, I can't jump even up onto your desk. I'm too tiny. Come on, Molly. We have to go in before the teacher wakes up. Oh, I have so many tests to grade. <sighs> Going into our teacher's brain. Whoa! This is crazy! I know, Molly, tell me about it! Good morning, class! Wait a minute, we went inside her brain, Daisy, and we're still in school? This is boring! I think this is one of her, her, her thoughts or her memories or something. 
Okay, everyone. Um, uh, it's just me and Daisy today. Oh, okay. Well, perfect. You guys can do the homework of the entire class then. What? No way! I'm tired of doing all this work. Why do you keep making us do all the work? Ah, oh, you're right. Life should be fun. Why are you guys doing all this schoolwork all the time? Yeah, exactly. You guys can do anything you want. Really? Woohoo! Ha ha ha! Well, then I'm out of here. Time to eat all the pizza. Marley, don't you think that's weird that the teacher said that? Nope, not even a little bit. Ooh, pizza. Hmm. Her memory pizza is delicious. Marley, be careful what you eat in here. Well, it's not like they're made of her brains or something. I'm not a zombie. <laughs> At least I don't think I am. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Molly, I, I, I think I think we're moving into another memory. What, what, where am I? Where did my teacher's memory take me to next? Molly? What? Why am I in a dumpster eating trash? Ew, ew, ew! Ew, gross! Why am I wearing these clothes? Wait a minute. Am I homeless? What? How did this happen? Ah! What? What? Why am I on the toilet? <laughs> Weird. Wait a minute. Wh where am I? Hello. I'm here to interview you. What? The FBI? What? Why am I in a prison cell? Hey, let me out of here! You're in a max security prison right now, Molly. You have to tell me what happened when you robbed that bank. What? Robbed a bank? But let me out of here! I'm not a criminal! I think we both know that you are. Are you ready for your interrogation? Um, no, not really. Ah, Daisy! Ah! I'm a, I'm a criminal! Wait a minute. I think there's a way to escape. <laughs> All I have to do is go up through this air vent. How do I grow about ten feet so I can get up there? There's no escaping. <laughs> what? Oh, no! I need to get out of my teacher's brain! And fast! No, no, my students can't become criminals. They have to be smart and do their homework. I have to push them hard so so that so that they're successful in life. Wow! Daisy! What happened? Why are you dressed like a criminal? Why are you dressed like a homeless person? Because in my future I am! Oh my gosh, this is crazy! I know. I think this is why our teacher pushes us so much, Molly. Because she doesn't want us to be well. Homeless or criminals or, or not successful even. Wow, I didn't know she cared about us so much. What are we doing here at the beach? Well, I have a little guess. Oh, your breath smells like a dumpster. Don't ask, Molly, don't ask. It looks like... It looks like maybe she thinks about coming here sometimes. Yeah, when she's not worried about her students. Ah, <sighs> I need a vacation so bad. I guess I could just take one in my mind every once in a while. I mean, the kids need me. I don't have time for a vacation. But I really could use one so, so badly. Ah, Molly, the shrinking potion is where we go. We better get out of here. You're right, Daisy. Let's go. Whoa, this feels crazy. I think all of the stuff I ate in the last week is going to come outside my body. Ew, Molly, gross. Wow, this has been quite the show. Mmm, and this popcorn's delicious. Whoa, I can't believe it. Mrs. Smith is just being nice because she wants us to be successful. Molly, why isn't your shrinky potion wailing off? It will eventually, I'm sure. Well, I hope you're not stuck like that forever. <sighs> Must make my students successful. Must make them. Molly, get off the teacher's desk. She might wake up any minute. Why am I still small? Uh-oh. I think this is going to end really badly. Well, Molly, I guess you're going to be a little tiny, tiny little cute person forever. Ugh! Daisy, you better fix this. You better fix it! Hey, guys, so what's up? Today, it is so cold outside. Yeah, it's like 10 below zero type cold. We really can't even go outside. It's dangerous. 
Yeah, your face would totally freeze in like one second. <laughs> so we decided to go to a water park in our minds. Yep, we're going to a mobile um, game water park. Yeah, and it's going to be so fun. I think so too. Let's get started. Oh man, I'm in a race. Okay, I've, I've got to try to like... Oh no! <laughs> I tried to cut a corner and... Whoa, I think it actually worked. Oh, I landed that. Oh, I'm in first place, Daisy. Oh, no, that cow threw you off. It's okay. I think I'm going to actually get to the end. <laughs> I think I just got first place. I did. Holy guacamole, Molly. You're good at this game. I know, right? <laughs> that person tried to push me off. That person who was dressed like a pig or, or a, a cow or whatever. It was a cow, Molly. Definitely a cow. Yeah, and what they did was, help me win. Help me win. Do, 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 do. Okay, Molly, my turn, my turn. Molly, we should put up one of our names. Okay, put Molly. No, let's put Daisy. Okay, let's put um, Maisie because that's both of our names put together. Okay, sounds good to me. Okay, <laughs> no one will know who we actually are. All right, let's do this. It's my turn, Molly. Oh, yeah, it's your turn. Sorry, I forgot. Someone has a pumpkin head up front. Oh my gosh, this is harder than I thought. It's okay, Daisy. Just try to cut corners like I did. This is what I'm doing. Whoa. Daisy, you nailed that landing. Good job. There's a panda coming up behind you. I'm not going to let that panda win. Um, I think the panda just did the same thing to you that the um cow did to me. <laughs> That's what happens. Um, you win <laughs> when people try to cheat. We actually win. Great job, Daisy. Well, I'd like to take total credit for it, but you know, I can't because that person sort of helped me win. Let's give us a little bit better looking face and stuff. Um, well, so far, the only one we can have is like that girl there, but she doesn't have a face. Well, it's better than nothing. <laughs> Before, we didn't even have any hair or anything. Yeah, but if we win more games, I'm sure we'll get more coins. And we'll be able to uh, unlock way more stuff. Wait, we got a pig. Do we want to be a pig? Yeah, let's be a pig. You like that in real life anyway. I mean, that's all you do is eat cupcakes. Daisy, rude. Hey, does that pig have a bathing suit on? No, it's a naked pig. What? 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 <laughs> okay, that's kind of funny. Okay, here I go as the naked pig. Oh, I'm already beating you out. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This isn't good. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Ah! Ah! I just keep, like, falling. Ah! Oh, I'm in first place, guys. I'm in first place. And there's all these, like, barriers in the, um, in the water slide. Oh! And, and there's, um, there's barriers. And there's also, like, water spouts. Oh, my gosh. Ow, I hit one. The poor piggy head. Oh, I landed in the sand. Wow. Better luck next time, Molly. My turn. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to get first place again. If you think I'll get first place, slam that like button. Whoa, Daisy, that was kind of crazy. Oh, no, you're going to land in the sand. You got nowhere to go, Daisy. Nowhere to go. Yes, I do. I'm going right here, Molly. Oh, my gosh. Whoa, you nailed that landing, but you you totally lost the crown because because you hit one of those barriers. Yeah, but Molly, I still got third, I think. We did get third place. Excuse me, I got third place. Okay, fine, you got third place. But I thought we were like the same person. We did name each other Maisie. <laughs> yeah, true. Your turn, Molly. All right, let's do this. And by this, I mean win. Oh, that witch just pushed me off the edge. Whoa. Oh my gosh, I just got a hang glider. <laughs> okay, this is super cool. I'm just gonna like land right in the pool. That's what I wanted to do. <laughs> well, I'm, oh, I'm like in the same position as the person who's in second. Oh my gosh, we're going through all these barriers. Oh my God, not into the sand. I was doing so good. Oh, Molly, that's the second time you've lost. Yeah, thanks for the reminder, Daisy. Well, let's hope I do better than Molly because she did terrible. Hey, don't rub it in, Daisy. Okay, but, but I'm doing pretty good as a naked pig right now. Um, I wish we could be at a water slide in like, I don't know, Florida or something. No, Molly, I just won first place. 
What? Second place? That wasn't even fair. Ah, oh, well, it's better than losing, which I did twice in a row. Yeah, I guess you're right. Daisy, don't be so hard on yourself. You got second. That's amazing. I just wanted to be first. Well, maybe we can be something other than the pig now. I don't know. Maybe. It looks like we can, Daisy. Let's unlock some. Do, 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 do. What, what, what's it gonna what, what's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Uh uh Oh my gosh, we're an adorable little panda. <coughs> Did you just squeal in my ear? Yes, he's so cute, I love him! Okay, well it's my turn first, so I get to be the cute panda. I can't wait to be the cute panda. I can't wait! Alright guys, I have to do better this time because I keep dying and it's just not good. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no! No! Oh, Molly, that was just pathetic. I know, it was so pathetic. I tried to get the hand glider, but it didn't work out. Just try to stay on the track, Molly. At least if you come in last, you just, you didn't fall in the water and die. Yeah, I guess you have a point. I'm such an adorable little panda. <laughs> I thought you told me to just stay on the course. Yeah, but that's because you stink. I don't. Huh, whatever. See, how good are you? You hit those blocks and now you're, like, in fourth place. Don't worry. I'm just going to blast through all these other people. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Yes! I think I'm in first place right now. Oh, yeah, I am. This person called Kilo is going to beat me, though. He's a pumpkin. Oh, Daisy. That's too bad. Can't believe I keep coming in second. Well, at least I beat you, Molly. Oh, at least I beat you, Molly. <laughs> Molly, don't be so loser. This time, I'm not going to die. If you believe in me, guys, slam the like button. Come on, believe in me. Believe in me. Molly, I don't know if they're going to slam the like button. I have a lot of fans. They're very loyal to me, Daisy. They will slam the like button. Ooh, new map unlocked to the temple. Let's go. This time, I'm just going to play it safe. Why don't I keep starting last behind everybody else? That doesn't seem fair. Molly, I thought you were playing it safe. Um, well, uh, uh. Oh, boy. <laughs> I thought you were going to be amazing at this game. Turns out, nope. I'm going to go again, Daisy. What, you're going to use the last minute on another turn? That's not, f Molly, that's not fair. Sorry, but I keep losing, and I, I just need to prove to myself that I'm not going to lose. See, so far I'm doing really good. Oh boy, here you go again, Molly. Here you go again. Oh, <laughs> splat. Oh, now can I have my last turn? Yeah, I just give up. I give up. Woohoo, it's my turn. And I'm going to do amazing on this very last ride down the water slide. So, if you think I'm amazing, guys, slam the like button. We all know you're amazing. Oh, I can't believe this. I need to go eat a cupcake. Woohoo! Look at me go! Okay, I've knocked everybody off of the water slide. Except for this person. That person's really hard. Oh, no! I hit a waterfall! But I think it's actually going to put me ahead of everyone else. Oh, now I'm in second. Yes! Oh, oh gosh, I've got to go faster. I want to end this video on a first place. Oh, no! Okay, um, I just have to beat Cleopatra. That's all I have to do. Oh! No, 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 no! Oh, my gosh. Oh, um, it doesn't look like I'm going to beat her. Yes, it is! Oh, I just got first place! Daisy, you are amazing at this game. I know, I know, I know. Better luck next time, Molly. Ugh. Oh. You want to go eat some ice cream? Sure, Molly. If it makes you feel better, we can eat all the ice cream in the freezer. It really will. <laughs>